All right, all right, all right. Here we are live from Lawrence, Kansas in the Van Cave. And uh, listen, here's the, the housekeeping items before we get started. First and foremost, thank you to Game Time for supporting us and giving us an opportunity to do all this crazy stuff. And DSC at uh, John and his team. I called them last minute and just said, hey, we have a situation brewing. Want to do X, Y, Z. And uh, he said done literally before I even could get the last sentence out. So always appreciative to them. And uh, this, the, the last thing I'm going to say is we're going to have a lot of fun right now, but I have zero clue how long the internet's going to work. Zero clue. This might be a five minute stream. This might be, I was going to say five hour. That's not the case, <laughs> but maybe, maybe it'll end up being like an hour long and we'll have a, a jolly good time. Um, I don't know where you guys want to start. I think that the best, best place to start people seen the vlog. Yeah. Um, kind of like, I don't say the vlog, the vlog is coming out when, uh, tomorrow morning, early afternoon. Okay. Um, the one that's already done, right? Day one. Yes. Day one. Okay. So that's coming out, but people have already seen some of the, the videos that we put out on socials, et cetera, et cetera, of day one. Um, so I guess maybe we focus on day two. Sure. It wasn't the greatest in regards to your Cincinnati fandom, Elliot, but hopefully your experience here at Allen Fieldhouse was okay. The, the, the experience at Allen Fieldhouse was great. I, Trace hyped it up appropriately, I would say. We, we, we were talking about it last night on the way to wherever we were going, um, and it was loud. I mean, I, I, I have not experienced an atmosphere quite like that where it's legit deafening. It reached the deafening point. Right before tip off, uh, it's it's one of the coolest atmospheres of all time. It it really is. As we were in the one, second to last row of the entire place, yeah, and it was still a perfect view. Like you could see everything. It's not like, uh, especially at the old Fifth Third Arena when you were in the nosebleeds, you legit have to beg to see the court. It wasn't like that. It was phenomenal all the way through. Uh, in terms of the Bearcats, we were watching it in the uh, Fog Allen Arena. And unfortunately, field house. And unfortunately for me, it kind of dampened the 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 vibes, uh, the vibes a little definitely, bit. Definitely Experience was great. Vibes were a little bit lower, yep. uh, especially when one decides to live bet. You see money line in overtime. Shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have happened. But it did. I, I'll, I'll say this: the UC this UC team is by far the most frustrating Cincinnati sports team I've ever watched in my entire life. Every single game, and I tweeted this, but I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it right now. Every single game is winnable. Every single game, and every single game ends the exact same way in devastating heartbreak. I will never be happy, but that's okay. We will fight through it. We will fight through this Cincinnati sports fandom. If the Reds are bad this year, I don't know what I'll do. Well, we're not going to. I don't know. We won't go that road. Thing with Elliot. That's just, this is the thing. Uh, He'll be back. We tomorrow. have we He'll have literally tomorrow. Ying and Yang. You know what I'm saying? Ying and Yang. We have the most negative, nothing's ever going to go right person. And we have always, always got to find the optimistic viewpoint. Now, there are times where Nick is, is relatively critical. I've, I've, I've actually heard him be critical of David Bell uh, before, believe it or not. When you do 162 games with him, it does come out <laughs> once or twice. But, hey, ultimately, your experience, you got a chance to go in there. You didn't have any fandom on the line. You weren't really watching any other games going on. I guess – Genuine experience. I, I'm not here to say just because I'm around, you got to say it was great. All that um, overall thought process of what you just. No, nah, it was electric. I, it, the the intro was like a rock concert, and, and like I know a lot of these like college basketball in, in NBA, they they try to have like these big loud intros that feel like, but it always feels almost sort of fake in yeah. a way. This did not like this was legit. No. Um, everyone was, like they made a shot to go up like 25 points. And it was louder than any any gym I've ever been in at, at that moment. Um, but yeah, I had a great night. I mean, I uh, I put five units on uh, <laughs> yes, on uh, both teams to score in the first two minutes. Yes. Uh, shout out a book that will not be named. But as right. soon as we crossed over from Missouri to Kansas, those who aren't aware, not full degenerates, <laughs> betting is not legal in Missouri. So we had to wait until we got into Kansas. We get into Kansas. Yes. Kansas offers us a special promo yes. bet. I said you have to take it. You I told everyone that. to take it, yeah. and uh, it hit with ease. Kansas did State scored seven I did take points I did, in the you first did two take minutes. It? I did take. I only put. I only I put. I only it. put ten bucks on. It. I put ten bucks on it because that's that's a fluke bet. Usually, I I kind of uh, I kind of ride those boosts and I trust them. Um, 
And by the way, I'm going to trust so what's going on up front, by the way. Yeah, I, you need to lock it in. <laughs> here's the situation. We're, we're not on the highway right now. I am worried about this. This this uh, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Um, here's, the, here's the situation. These guys bet both teams had to score a point, one point within the first two minutes of the game. I want to tell you that I seen a little fear in their eyes when Kansas announced their starting lineup. <laughs> which was all seniors because it was senior night. Kansas decided we're going to start all seniors. And when I tell you that there was three or four guys in that lineup that I personally have never seen before, that's what we were dealing with. Were you concerned about that at all? So there was about (laughs) 15 seconds where my heart skipped a beat. And I was like, what have I done? I've made a terrible mistake. But then I realized, the team that I needed was worried about scoring in the first two minutes. Did you shut that? Damn. He can't yeah, do it. We, we, it's not going to shut. Like, <laughs> it's gonna shut. It, yeah, it it's only shut. my coat. So if it falls down, it's not going to kill him. Okay. Just a coat. Okay. No, better just than a, the just charger that almost smoked me in the face earlier. No. But I was, I was worried about <laughs> Kansas State scoring. So once I thought through this fully, I was like, oh, wait. Right. These dudes aren't going to be able to stop these big athletic yeah. Kansas State guys. And Kansas State, sure enough, scored seven points. So there was, That's right. there was a moment of, of pure panic. But I reeled it in, and uh, it was electric. And, uh, you know, when you win a bet in the first two minutes, it really makes the rest of the night. So here's the thing. 100%. Everything's positive. Here's, the, here's, here's, here's something that happened before the game that I think that uh, the viewers that are watching this live, it might get spoiled, per se, on the vlog. But here's the deal. We got two guys, rookies up front. They don't know what they're dealing with. They have no idea who I am. And that's <laughs> fine. And that's, that's great. That's perfectly fine. But Elliot – is trying to convince me that I shouldn't lay down. What would we call it? What do we want to call it? Do you want to say a tw- uh, 50 unit max super bet? We'll call it that. You want to call it that? I'll just say I did put my entire account okay. that I have on there, <laughs> okay. which, okay. Is, which is a considerable amount. It's not a sign- it's It not, was a it's 50 not- unit max super play. For, for me, it would be 200 units. Okay. Well, here's, <laughs> here's the thing, though. And it's not, it's not that the, it's, I just knew what was going to happen before I walked in the gym. I knew what was going to happen. Kansas State had zero chance on senior night in Allen Fieldhouse. And, and, and the truth is Kansas is a better team than Kansas State. So having that, that recipe, I felt great about a money line bet. Sure. The money line bet just so happened to be minus 800. <laughs> For those that don't understand uh, gambling, that's $800 to win $100. So I, I told them we could win an, an, an easy couple hundo. Oh, yeah. Easy. No problem. And Elliot decided he had one veto on the trip. One. I got I got one veto, and I think each of us get, gets one. I, I, I don't succumb to peer pressure. I don't like peer pressure. So if there's something, uh, if there's something that needs to include a safe word, we have to have it. I told Trace, don't do this. Please don't do this because yeah. I know Trace. Right. And what's going to happen is he loses this nonsensical bet, and the rest of this trip is ruined. We got eight hours to drive. We got That's we're driving right. two hours tonight. We're yes. driving eight hours tomorrow, yep. and then we're just going to keep driving. And I can't have a fifty unit supermax just sitting over his head while he's while while he's dealing with all of but us. He's you. cranky. I would have I would have not let it affect the entire trip. Sure, I, 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 I would have. That's where you I, know I, what. I, What's you know what's sick about me is yeah. that I was even thinking if I lose this bet, I get yeah. to show I get to show these guys it's not a big deal. You can continue and live life. You lose a bet, yeah. Elliot loses a lot of them. You you just was a shot, don't worry about it. Okay. You move on. But here's the thing, Elliot, you did what? What'd you do? Uh just I, say what you did at the outside. What did you say? What, what do you mean? You do you mean what did you do outside the gymnasium when I said I wanted I wanted to put all the money on Kansas? I vetoed. Yeah, he, he vetoed. Yeah, he vetoed. I vetoed it. Okay, so to finish out the story, we're inside the 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 aurora, the mystique. Yeah, something in the air. Yeah, the mystique. Got a hold of Elliot Rearing, and we were standing right next to, and I'll call it what it is, right next to the men's restroom. That's where it happened. <laughs> it did. Elliot looked me square in my eyes and said, "Do it." <laughs> you ain't gonna do it. Do it. And by God, I did it. I put all of it on there, and I want us an easy couple hundo. So you know what? I'll take care of your guys' meals for the next day or two. Okay, no problem. But I have the Kahuna's to do it, and I knew it was it was the it was a great investment. I I, I give unnamed sports book a lot of money. Yeah, for a two hour window, and then they give it all back to me in a couple hundo more we have super chats right now oh yeah you guys are amazing this is ridiculous we're on the middle of the middle of the road. like i'm not trying to brag but 
This is kind of absurd. It's it's more than absurd. This is absurd. Uh, so we're live on the road. Would you like uh, me to read them? I, I'm, I'm, I'm semi illiterate, very illiterate. Okay, when I, when I'm, I got I'm a little closer. Pin. All uh, right, go ahead. Uh, our first big, our first super chat. This is before we even got on before the air. We got on the stream. I'm walking to the van. Yes. We're getting texts from Reds Daily, who helps us out. Shout out, Reds. Yes. Shout Daily. out, shout out. And he's like, we already got super chat. So Big C, you are the man. I don't have the funds for game time, but here's a little token of my appreciation. Big C, we appreciate you. Well, here's the thing, Big C. You might not have the coin for game time, and that's okay. But what you can do is you can just redeem the code, and it's sitting in your account. And then if you ever get, you know, maybe you hit the lottery or something, just go on there, download the app, use the code. You get it. It just sits in your account. It's like you don't have to spend any money. And then when you maybe eventually, perhaps you need to purchase something, you got $20 yeah. in your account. No, no doubt. C-B-O-X. No problem. And then we have Michael Roth, who <laughs> is an all-time super chat. A legend. Yeah, I mean, when, when a you legend. think of, listen, we're not going there. It's one of the few places we're not going on this road trip. But if you think of the Mount Rushmore's sure. of super chatters, <laughs> sure, there is no one that sits in the middle as pristine and as clean as Michael <laughs> Roth. He is an unbelievable, what we would call... Well, what is this? What, what, what do we call him? He's a Christmas light uh, extraordinaire. Oh, excuse me. That's what he does. You just a Christmas light extraordinaire. That's what. That's what he does. That's what. Wait, he makes Christmas lights. He. What's it? he? He designs Christmas lights that he puts on his house. Okay. And he wins. Okay. He wins He's Christmas lights expert. He wins. Okay. Championships. Okay, you that's understand? my bad. I I should have known right. that. Understand. Um. Uh, so, so, so then Big C decided What's to Big super C chat us back, LFG Michael. Yeah. Uh, I mean, all about it. Mark Fetters is the man. You can't say Mark Fetters without saying is the man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a prerequisite. You know when you go to school and they're like, sorry, son, you can't take calc. Why is that? Because yeah. you haven't taken pre-calc. And, you know, when you say Mark Fetters, it's like you literally have to say. There's, there's, is, is the, man, the man, is the man. There's a couple people on this planet. There's a couple people on this planet um, that I would want to have my back. Yes. If, if all odds were against me, uh, there's an army coming at me and it's, it's, it's Jon Snow and yes. Game of Thrones. It's just me with the everything. sword. That's right. I'm, I'm up against an army. As long as I got my Mark Fetters, yes. I'm fine. I mean, I'm fine. I could go up against the world. He's the if, white knight. I not to, I'm not going to get political because I don't do that. This isn't a politics show. You, you send me over to Russia right now, and I got Mark Fetters. I'm I'm invincible. <laughs> I'm invincible. I can't lose. It just can't happen. That's fair. Maybe. <laughs> do you want to try a, it? Should be a national strategy. We'll drive right there. Not we'll drive idea. over. We'll drive over. Not a bad idea. Okay, so and one more for Big C. Big Another C. Big C. Big, Big C's Big all C. over Big too. C. You sat there and looked me square in my eyes and said you didn't have any coin, and you're just dropping it all over the place like you forgot about it. What are we doing here? Come on, Big C. Charlie, Char Charlie's also telling us in the chat that he what? can't go to work tomorrow because of this UC game. It's affecting it's the mental well-being of people around the well, area. Well, the good news is, is that he, he he lives in Chicago, which they might yeah. set that as an excuse. In Cincinnati, it's become the norm. I mean, I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I I, I and I guess when, when you're a fan of Cincinnati, uh, it's just my experience through 24 years of living on this earth. I haven't yet experienced joy. And, and I think what Charlie needs to do right now is he needs to sit in bed in silence, stare at the ceiling like I've done for the past, you know, 12 sports fan for 12 years since I was 12 right. years old. How's that work out? Uh, and you stare at the ceiling and, and you let a couple tears out. And then you close your eyes, you go to sleep, you have a nightmare, you wake up and you do it all again the next day. That's the best advice I can offer you. Um, because that's, that's what essentially it is watching Cincinnati sports. And I have to deal with it. And, and we all have to deal with it. But I, I want to try to power through it. Michael Roth drops another 20 did he, burger did he do it? and says, Super chat for Mark Fetters. My long lost uncle I need to meet. <laughs> Great, Trace. What a, listen. We're what, having a super that, chat what, off. In all seriousness, we go. I'm, I'm going to say this how I feel. I hope this doesn't come off as like, um, how do I say it? I hope this doesn't come off the wrong way. I'll just say it how I say it. We do go above and beyond a chatterbox. Like there's things sure. that we try to do at this company that are just absurd and ridiculous, and no one else is like either. Either they're not either willing to take the chance of doing it, or they don't know how to do it. Like right. to be fair to some people, they probably have set up. Now we could go off the air. We could be dead in five minutes. I have no idea. I just know that we hit a rumble strip. 
<laughs> and that did happen. Uh, but what else I was going to say after that rumble strip was ultimately we do work hard to try to bring as much content as possible. But when I tell you the one thing that, that is like the, the gasoline or the diesel, if you got a big truck. Oh yeah. The thing that really fuels our fire. Uh -huh. any more puns I could use? No, that's good. Any, that's, I think that was, I think that was enough. Uh, is, is our community. And I mean that sincerely. If, if we didn't have the amount of people that watched our stuff or commented on, on social media or gave us or showed us love in any in any imagination, I mean this sincerely. No, yeah. We yeah. would not have this, the stamina to do this. Like, they 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 boost us up time and time again. And uh, it's absurd as Big C drops in five. I mean, Big C. Big C. We, uh, Big, Big C, C, I love you. You don't have to do this. We got to take this man to a baseball game. Yeah, I mean, Big C. Well, we see him at a baseball game. We see him at a baseball year. game. Yeah, we, we, we met up with him. I, uh, but but anyway, back to um, back to our experiences that we're gonna that we're going to. Uh, well, I, I want to ask you. I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah, go for it. We're about we're th about through two days now on this road trip. Yeah, I would say personally, it's gone better than I expected. I didn't know what I expected, but and I don't want to jinx. I, I I don't believe in jinxes, kind of, but I actually kind of do. Actually, now the more that I think about it, sure, but. Through two days, you have to say this is going pretty well, yeah? Not a whole lot of hiccups, I would say. Yeah, when I thought through this trip, I mean, I thought through it before I went on it, obviously. It's one of those things like, we're okay. What do you need to do? What 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 what, what moves the needle, per se? Yeah. Um, once all of the things kept aligning, apart, aligning up, it felt like destiny. It felt like fate. Uh, as we get another super from... Um, Jordan. From Jordan. I mean, you guys... You guys are the best, man. I, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> it's amazing. Shout Jordan. out to the Van Boys. Yeah, thank you, Jordan. Uh, here's the thing. When you go through the list of things that we're capable of doing, and it just kept lining up, right? So yeah. it started. Here's how it all honestly started. It was like, all right, when can we go out to spring training? And let's focus on the Reds first. So we got the dates of the Reds, and we're like, okay, let's let's figure out what is it that we can do on the way out there that we can try to make it worth the drive out there. So sure enough, I, I, I go to maps and I punch in Cincinnati to, to Phoenix. And essentially, it gives you two route options that are relatively the close and the same. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I got to be honest, there's some bias here. As soon as I see any trip or route that I'm going on that goes through Kansas, I'm looking to see if I can get in Fog Allen Fieldhouse. <laughs> 100%. That's a fact. And I mean, this is my, this is, I'm not trying to be biased, but when you go into that environment, and you obviously like the team. Yeah. How could you not want to do that? Is that fair? That's more than fair. I mean, it's just like, even if you don't like Kansas, we're still in a situation where you probably would want to go again. You guys need to trust the driver. I'm trying to try. I'm trying. Listen, I'm hearing a lot up. of noises. I trust him with my life. I. Yeah, no. As long as I'm still up right here, if I start shaking a little bit, I'll get nervous. But Trace is right. If you're, if you're going to go uh, across the nation and passing arguably the most historic uh, historic college basketball venue maybe ever, maybe the, maybe the, one of the most famous basketball arenas in the world, yeah. right? What is it, top five? At the probably basketball the, the arena? The about the arena is that it, the arena is, is, is nice. Like it's, it's, it's cool. Yeah. But it's really more about just the the, the atmosphere. Yeah, it's more yeah. about the electricity that comes with it. And that's that's the best part of it. But but, my, but to finish the story here. So I see we were going through Kansas. Like, okay, cool. Kansas lines up. They're at home. Yeah. If Kansas is not. This is the crazy part. If Kansas is not home, we'd probably fly out to Arizona. 100%. And it starts at Kansas. I then say, okay, after you go through Kansas, uh, where else can you go? You can go to Denver. What's in Denver? Obviously, a national. Park, beautiful, picturesque, probably would make some for, for some good content, good shows. Yeah. Oh, we, we do sports, chatterbox sports, right? Uh, what's in Denver? It just so happens that the Avalanche play the Red Wings. The Avalanche are the best team in the NHL, some are arguing. And then, some are saying. Some many. are saying, some are arguing. Uh, but then the very ne next day, the Celtics play the Nuggets, number one in the East versus number one in the West. So then you're not now you're now you're cooking with gas. 100%. Now you're like, okay, we got something here. But then after that, you're like, what what else can you do? And you're like, okay, well you 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 can go down and go to Goodyear. And then you realize the Grand Canyon's on the way. Yeah. And you realize, okay, that's a I mean, there's not too many 
Wonders of the World. Uh -huh. That's one of them. I don't know if you know <laughs> that's, that. That's, yeah, there's about seven, there's roughly. Seven, roughly. That's one of them. Yeah. The eighth one is Kirby's wife. <laughs> sleeping, sleeping next to that shit for 12. How long? How long? 13 years. 13 years. We'll get into the snoring woman. later. Uh, we'll get into the well, snoring I'll later. I'll get to it right now for just a second. Okay. All right. All right. For 13 years. 13 years. She has slept next to this man who, when I say saws logs, I'm talking straight, still, <laughs> right through trees all night long. And we're not talking those little tiny trees. We're talking big oaks. But my point is, is that uh, I don't know how she does it. That's the eighth wonder of the world. But when Grand Canyon's on the way, yeah. then you move in and you ask yourself, okay, that's got to be it. The Reds are playing on Sunday. And then Jolly Jolly in the chat goes, sends me a message. Says, it sends me a DM first. It says, hey, are you in Phoenix at this time? I was like, yeah. What's up? I can get you some NASCAR passes. Yeah. I'll tell you what. We've we've, we've been on the road for, for – uh, how, how many hours have you been on the road for? Long time. I don't Long know how time. many hours. I don't know how many hours. Gotcha. So this, this hasn't been the straightest drive I've ever been on. I mean, are we dying? I don't, dude. I, 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 I'm I, making sure we're good. We're good? Are we good? Yeah. We're good? Everybody hold the things. Golly, are, are, we, are we close? Are we actually good? Highway? Okay. Well, they don't know if we're close to get on the highway. Uh. Uh, that's why they make GPS. That's why they have the GPS. You got a GPS on, yeah? yeah. Okay. okay. I all just... right. All right. Right back to the show. We're trying to stay focused. Um, yeah. I mean, listen, it is very tough to focus when you're here. I mean, hopefully you're not getting seasick at home. It's a lot of acceleration. We are here. It's a lot of acceleration. Uh, we got a lot of backseat back driving right now. Um, so let's focus <laughs> on the show. Uh, so, so anyways, Jolly Jolly offers us passes for the NASCAR. Event. Yeah. And immediately... We say yes, we have to. I mean, this is preposterous. I'm trying to I'm trying my best to get through it. Uh listen, we got a lot of chaos going on, but Jolly Jolly recommends that we head out to Phoenix. We're in Phoenix, we're near Phoenix. I think we just rolled over a person. I can't be sure we rolled over somebody. Something some we hit something. He says he can't drive any better. Uh, uh, there goes uh, Kirby's shit. There goes everything. everything. <laughs> And Kirby, Kirby Kirby said, hey, don't worry about my fucking jacket that's just up there. Don't worry about it. it it's not a problem. I mean, what the fuck, man? This guy. I mean, kid you show. Can't, you can't. It's a kid it's show. 10 o'clock. It's midnight. It's kid show. It's midnight. It's a kid show. Is um, anyways, the camera fine? The camera's we fine. Alive? We're good. Are we still live? Yes, we're fine. Uh, I mean, we, we think we're fine. We might be dead in I, three or four minutes. If this is it, this is it. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see it live in a person. You want to talk about <laughs> making it big time. Chatterbox Sports is going to make it big time. <laughs> Can we get on a highway that's straight? I mean, Jesus. <laughs> I mean, what is this? I thought we were going 70 West. Do you guys have a Boyd Highways on? <laughs> Listen. We avoided oh, the toll. We're I going... would have paid that son of a bitch. <laughs> I would have paid the toll if we could just get on something. Michael Rolf. Michael Rolf. He's got uh, another. Like Michael Rolf with another super chat. Uh, what does it say? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what matters. All right. Nobody can figure it out at this point. We've lost it. We, we thought we were going to be able to do a nice, solid, streamlined Yeah, show. we're doing we're doing. But anyways, <laughs> what else is going to happen after Sunday is we're going to Vegas. I, well, maybe. That's, that's possible. <laughs> We don't really 100% know that yet, right, Nick? You might not even go. Just to be just to be kind of like I'm very... just here, man. No, I'm He's saying, here for the ride. I'm saying, you know, that, listen. If 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 um I've never been seasick in my entire Andrea, life. Andrea, I couldn't be Andrea, closer to Andrea, it right now. Andrea, I swear to God. Andrea, Andrea is watching. We're not going to Vegas. I don't think she's watching right now. All right. Well, we're not. not going to Vegas if if Jordan and Andrea is watching. Elliot said he's free as a bird. Free as a bird. So he's not worried about nothing. Uh, so, anyways, Vegas, maybe uh, on Monday, and then um, then we're going back to Goodyear, Arizona, and we are going That's to right. watch the Cincinnati Reds that we beloved. We love them uh, all the way to we love Saturday, them. and then uh, we'll see what happens along the way. But we're going to try to do a live show, not every night, but most nights. Um, Here we go. You got it. All we right. got the super Michael chat. Roth. I, you, I better you, read this. You one. read that one. Super Chats make the Van Boys worth it. This mm. is incredible. A few questions. Let's do these one at a time. <laughs> we need to get some. Dude, I'm Is gonna... it real? 
Is it is that a real table or does it fold somewhere in your Ninja Turtle van? What's this mean? It's um, a real I really, we've left it up the whole time. This like, is this isn't a joke. I really need that water. <laughs> I dude, I don't. I mean, I, I'm trying to fight through this right now. It's you're, you're gonna get sick. Oh god! Don't suck on it. It's my fucking water. No, it's not anymore, dude. I'm sorry. Oh my. God. I'm sorry, dude. I... Uh, but Michael, to answer your thoughtful question, uh, this this table has been here the whole time. We've been using it to uh, make podcasts. I, I, I and TikToks. I'm all that confused. Kind of stuff. I'm confused. I need to. I, I'm pulling my phone out. I'm pulling the phone. I'm number number two. Does Kirby plan does to play third base? When you get to Glendale in that jacket, yes, yeah, I am. What's what's uh we're, we're dialed in? Denver. All right, so uh, yeah, Kirby, take over. While uh, yeah, while they're Run trying the to save our lives, uh, yeah, really cool environment uh, at uh, Allen Fieldhouse tonight. One really cool thing that I kind of picked up as we were going along is so tonight's game, Kansas Kansas State was on ESPN. Uh, tomorrow is it is tomorrow NHL or NBA? Tomorrow, tomorrow is no. I don't think that's right. Well, whatever. The next two days, the NBA game. Listen, take the toll. I'm being serious. No, 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 no. Listen, you're you're gonna. I'm sorry, we're hijacking the show here. The show, yeah, the show's off the rail. You're trying to take your. I think that people want to hear this. Yeah, they want to hear it. Uh, it's gonna take you down this piece of shit one way highway. I'm physically sick. for like 25 minutes if you don't take the toll. The, Oh gosh! I mean, I'm. I this isn't a bit. I I try to power through stuff like this, and I'd play it off. I uh, if this is what you felt, brother, I'm sorry. I mean, this is making me ill. Um, what but do you need? It, it should be. I think we're good. I I got your water, and I'll buy you another water. Um, wa- I mean, listen, n- next if, water's if, on if, me. If you get sick, you're 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 you're. Uh... You I'm got, fine. We're, you, got, we're, you got a power. For we're going to be good. Listen, there's I'm no gonna excuses. Be good. Next man up mentality. There's no excuses. Good news if is you this. You need to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Good news is this van, this van door just opens right onto the highway. I'll puke and I'll probably just jump out to save myself uh, my life as yeah. well. But the NBA and NHL game are both on TNT. So three straight days of nationally televised games that we'll be at. Yeah. I did think that was pretty cool. Very cool. And, and again, when you, I don't think I've been to. I'm trying to think of three nationally televised games that I've been to, and I honestly, I don't think I can. I don't think I can you name. You know them. what might help you? If what? Being honest, is to take your hoodie off. No, the hoodie's going to stay on. I, honestly, here's so here's there's some, never there's nothing that's been more preposterous than this man walking into Allen Fieldhouse with a hoodie on, and it's how hot is it in there? It was hot. It I was mean, it was smoking hot, and you're in there with a hoodie on. I I I'm fine. Everybody who knows me, I, I, I paying for our toll. He, Michael Rolf, yeah. thank you very much. Michael, we could have used that 20 minutes ago. And uh, I would have known. I would have loved to know that was an option. I'd love. I, it. Lo- I just looked at the map. You're in trouble. Okay. I'm just gonna tell you. All right. I mean, this toll road. There's a reason. There's a toll road. All right. Then you, know, you know why there's a toll road? Because somebody realized that this is the most ridiculous fucking road I got to drive down. Yeah. I'll pay to go straight. <laughs> So I'm going to pay to go straight, and that's what 99% of Kansas people do. Meanwhile, we're over here driving through the fucking Mario Andretti Indy 500. <laughs> oh. And we're trying to do a show. And, I, and listen, I get it. If kids are watching at home, I'll clean They're, it up. Craig's saying if I puke that the Super Chats are going to get better. Changing the title right now to Cheddarbox After Dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we probably uh, – this is this is one of those things where we might have to, like, make it to where you can't watch it after the fact. That's, <laughs> that's the gospel. No, you truth. can watch it after the fact. I, I don't know, man. Mike, uh, we'll see. But and By the way, we got over 100 people on Twitter watching right now, so shout out to every, everybody watching. <laughs> like everybody watching on Twitter. What? Thank you as well. Uh, I, I I don't know where everybody's coming from, but it's midnight, uh, and, and you're staying up with us as I try to not get nauseous in this van yeah, across the country. Yeah, and you're about out of water. I so pace yourself. I'm, I, I looked at the map. I'm telling you, this, right. is, this is this isn't even bad yet. And you know, like you know, I'm being serious, Make right? I, I, like there's there's I, times where I'm I, I I'm a bit, and I get it. Like I try my best to be funny and be a character and stay in character. I get it. I I won't. I'm I I'm not 100. Serious. I know. I'm not 100. You know why? I, I know. I know this because you usually look at me at one point and you'll kind of give a little small, like shit-eating grin, yeah, a little smirk. 
Like, oh, look how funny I'm being. <laughs> I, I am funny. You I got that, that right. You give me a very serious tone when you looked at me and said, I, I, I'm in trouble. So, whatever. Just do it in front of the camera. Make sure everybody sees it. All right. Um, Mark, Super Chat, do you say that? He just said just yep. because. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Sorry. Where, where, that's where we're at. So, um, so as far as this, the rest of this trip goes, tomorrow uh, we are going to go go-karting. Now, I've made a pledge, and I told these guys, I think they think that I'm joking. I'm yeah. not joking. This isn't a joke. I do plan on on respectfully getting thrown out. <laughs> respectfully. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything crazy. What do you it's, mean? How many people do you think have been thrown out of go-kart tracks? Like that's a, well, you, you have to do something so crazy that they're going to do it. Nobody's getting thrown out. I mean, we're there. Nobody is going to get I, thrown I, out I, of I, go-kart I, tracks. I, Nobody's going to do it. So if you're going to do it, you're going to legit have to like, there's, you're going to play bumper cars with a little kid. All right. Can we at least prepare here for this? What's instead happening? Of, no, no, no. Instead of acting like we're good the whole time. Yeah. Can we at least get you something. If something were to go down here. Yeah. I mean, uh, what, 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 what do we get? I, I don't know. I mean, do we have a bag in this? No, we don't oh, got we, a bag. We, we did have a trash bag somewhere. I, I don't think prepared. we're gonna. I don't think I. I, I don't think You're I should fine. be moving a ton. Okay. Uh, but we're fine. We're fine. So yeah. we're gonna go. We're gonna yeah, go. We're go fine. Everything's perfect. We're gonna go go karting. No I need problem. to get projectile. The one time we try to go live, we take a. We take literally a. a I mean, when I tell you this thing looks like an S, I don't. Know to <sighs> oh no! Hey, they're, we got a puke bag. We got a puke. Got a bag. Throw it. Throw. it. Got what it's in got it? what it, if it's got beef jerky, get it the hell away from me. I swear to God, if it's got uh, beef it's, jerky, it's, throw it away. It doesn't, man. It just got trash. Okay, we're, we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna right. try to will this here. I I'm not gonna try. I don't want to puke. I haven't puked in I, years. I want you to know it's right here if you need it though. Okay, make sure you don't miss the fucking bag. Okay, we will have a problem. All right, a real problem. I mean, the color I can tell by from this camera is 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 out of my face now. I've lost the color from my face. I, I think what I, I found comfort in the driver's wow. seat because I How like to fix this. I like to be you can't fix Let's it. Focus. We're we're gonna power through it. I'm power I'm I'm ready to power through it. As long as we don't keep hitting the brakes, well, we're gonna be good. I done told you I looked at this road. It is it is literally not straight. They made they I want you to think about this for two seconds. Use your brain and think about this. They built a road with private money. Yeah. Because people were so pissed off driving down this road that these jabronis up there decided to take especially when we decided to take a live show then on top of that people decide you know what yeah we're not only gonna build this thing we're gonna pay to go down it yeah you're in trouble <laughs> i mean you, if you need to lay down lay down we're, I if i if i need to lay down i'm gonna lay down I, I, down I'm not gonna take shame and land down i'm not i'm not there yet so don't worry about it okay continue with the, the rest of the trip oh man Dude, do you got anything else, do, do or can I start asking questions again? Ask questions. I'll ask. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll start I mean, asking you, questions. I, I'm, I'm very worried. Now I don't know what your guys' idea of what was going to happen here today was, but as of this very second, I firmly believe we haven't hit our peak yet. This was a very good day. I agree. So we're just getting started. Sure. This, like, I, I was kind of worried today might be the peak. We, you see, you see one of the most legendary uh, basketball venues uh, in the world, and you're like, all right. That's pretty damn good. But now we're driving eight hours to Denver, yes. a city that's amazing, incredible. I've been to Denver once before yes. uh, with a couple of my friends, and, and, and we loved it. Had a great time. Yeah. We're going to do some things there that I, I didn't do last time. Are you, a, are you at least somewhat, Trace, and I'll, I'll ask you this, and I'll ask Kirby actually a side question. When, when we were planning this trip, Trace told me, and we're, you talk about nausea. He said, hey, Elliot. inducing uh pressure right why don't have you fight your way through it was that a serious was that a serious thought that crossed your mind i think i think in life there's times where you do things yeah you do things that 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 test you they they may make you push through some some semblance of fear or doubt that you may have because at after after that is overcome, yeah. there's a super very good sense of accomplishment. Yeah. And what I was trying to get you to do and us to do was to go and enjoy the vistas and enjoy the in the, the beauty that is Colorado. Sure. And try to do it safely, of course, because people have done this for years and never gotten hurt. <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and never gotten hurt? Where's that statistic? Well, it, 
list, it'd be out of business if people died. <laughs> the truth is, the truth is, is that we could have we could have done that. You decided to pass on it. That's fine. We won't do it. But I mean, how am I supposed to hold a show and and, and an answer when you're staring at the front windshield? I'm just time? making sure everything's okay. I believe in those two guys up there. I believe them with my life. Like yeah, you sound like it. It sounds like. <laughs> but it. I I need to be. I need to take but, a look and continue but, but, answering but, my question, please. But, but I was the, asking serious questions. Yeah. This is a serious sports talk show. Yes, it is. I was just saying it would be nice to try to um, – it's not even really rock climbing, but it's basically rock scaling with – with what would you call it? A harness? Sure. And, a, wa- a little, and, and, a little and, and, string. And a semi-zip line. A little string, I would say, is what we're dealing with there. Yeah, that's not true. Do we have another Super Wiener show? Or you got something? I don't, I don't no, think so. No, you're good? So. All right. So – Oh, I think Michael won- I think Michael had another one. What is it? Just super it. super back of van chat. Jeez. That was for fifty. I mean, we we are. Unless that's one you already read. You know what? Like, can you can you can you raise your spirit? It might have been bit? earlier. It might listen, have been earlier. Listen, you were down in the dumps a little bit because you see lost you lost fifty. I was sad. I was sad. And then and then I got to be honest. I also forgot that I took over seventy seven and a half for fifty bucks. I should have rode that one. That was and a I sharp got, play. And I, and I got in. So I'll take care of that for you. Well, thank you very much. There's only so many times I can I can I can bail you out, Elliot. Okay. There's only so many times. Yeah. I I and I and I thank you for it. No now, problem. Now let me switch to, to let me switch to Nick here. Nick, if if Trey and he texted you, you know, yeah. hey Nick, we're gonna start having some fun on this trip, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you two things. Number one, can you give me nickname of yourself for me so I can then call you that on the road trip and be mean. And then well, I didn't want to call you snacks. And then if if <laughs> and then after that, hey Nick, would you be okay dangling off the side of a cliff? How would you have answered those two questions? Uh, I'd be fine with the nickname my whole life. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. it's so it's so soft. Yeah. I don't even like long tan and handsome, that's what they call you. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh no, I would not be dangling off of a cliff. I agree. And I think that's where the disconnect here was. And, and I think there's gonna be a time on this trip and it hasn't happened yet thank goodness but there's going to be a time or a time excuse me I, I, my brain's gone gone I, I i'm so 90 percent of my brain you ever see that movie lucy where she's got like a hundred percent of her brain power 99 percent of my brain power is making sure good vibes are being sent that direction oh they're great up there my one person the one percent that's here he's just dancing around like a little clown uh but i, I think that at some point during this trip there's going to be a time where I'm something bad's gonna happen to me, and Trace is instead of saying, Elliot, are you okay? Elliot, how are you doing? He's gonna say, Hey, Jeremiah, go get the camera. I think that's what's gonna happen here. At some point during this trip, Elliot's gonna be laying on the ground, probably crying, whatever, whatever I need to talk through my brain. And Trace is gonna say, the mountain thing real fast. Yeah, let's talk. Okay. What's the first thing that can happen? Death. I, uh, death. I, death is probably okay. the number one. And, and honestly, you wouldn't even know. And the stream, by the way, is struggling a little bit. <laughs> okay, well, that's part of driving through middle of who knows when. But my, my, my question to you is, you won't even know. Yeah. That string snaps legit. Yes, six seconds, maybe, maybe less. And that's it. That's the worst seconds of your life. <laughs> Look at it. A fool kind of guy. Uh, if I hey, if I'm hurtling towards the earth, let it be. maybe there's a better place let in heaven. Let it be. <laughs> Go ahead, you can finish it if you like. Uh, no, that's fine. I, I, after, I'm gonna. This is after dark. This is after dark, and the stream is really struggling here. As Michael Rolf sends in another super chat, uh, super C for being kicked off a go kart course with my brother and dad about ten years ago. We lifted the governors and blew past the guy waving us in. Did another lap. <laughs> Track was two miles, the Daytona Speedway. What do they expect? At this point, it is a minor miracle that we are still alive. Uh, yeah, but like, it, when, when I say that the, the, the technological things that have, that have advanced in this, in this world, I don't think that we're there yet. In no. 2030, I'm sure that this will oh, be that brings me to my next point. Be speaking, of, speaking, of, speaking of the internet, and I don't know how much of this is getting to you, the viewers, you but just, you just act like you're live, and if it's live, okay. it's great. If it's not, then Elon Elon Musk apparently. I don't know if you, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad. Elon Musk apparently uh, created his own internet service. 
uh, uh, across the uh, across the world, I guess. So basically, you buy this little white box, you set it up in a field, and apparently the moon uh, will give you the world's greatest internet service. Trace tried to set that up today, and I'm not kidding you; it failed so quickly and so hard that I, I, I honest, right. I honestly, right, God, it was impossible. I'm tell you right now to, to lock it in and focus up. Yeah, so we're getting ready to go around a little swirly deal. Look, okay. Look, 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 look. Okay. Please be careful on this. All right. Big moment, because I for you, this is a pretty big. Say turn. a prayer, folks. Just close your eyes if you need to. You got you got that in you? Yeah. Should we like hold each you other? Are you gonna continue? Can someone now listen? Continue. I'll continue. Uh, I was told before uh, before I got back here that that the greatest driver that we have in this van is currently in that seat. So you, <laughs> I mean, you sit back and you relax, big dog, because I got news for you. We're about to go through a early bird right now and it's oh. gonna feel like we're on the delirium oh boy <laughs> it's you ever been to king's island elliot yeah i've been a couple times okay is it better for you to talk and focus or is it better for me not to talk to you i, I need to know that answer i don't know i don't know you don't even know i can try to distract you it's gonna it's gonna it's where we're going in a circle i mean i, I dale Earnhardt himself never drove in this many circles uh on, on a highway journey across the country but this is where we are. This is where I'm just fighting through it for the, for the show. And again, I don't know what's getting across the air, but if you're able to watch me right now, um, I I need some sort of Tums or something. Hopefully we, we stop could, at a gas station some, soon. He has some Tums. I actually, actually Abysmal or something. I've seen it. Okay. It, I'll it, get, I'll get that in a bit. There, I'll get, the, we're not getting it right now. I'm not going to stress right, out about it. I'm fine. trying to, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be calm. What Nick, I, we're what gonna, I, I want to change it to the Reds real quick. I want to change it to the Reds. Sure. I want to change it because we're going to go to Arizona for the Reds. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys watching out there are Reds fans like myself, uh, but I'm very excited. And we're going with Mr. Red himself, Nick Kirby. That's right. When we get out there to Arizona, you've never been. Nope. What would you say would, would you are, are you looking forward to the most when we get out there? Great question. Thank you. No problem. Uh, probably, you know, like the, the backfields. I mean, I just. Everyone, oh yeah, the prospect guy. Everyone talks about it, but but no, I mean like the Reds uh, uh, on Thursday, they're actually playing a B game on the backfield with uh, like four or five like my, major league players. So I think that might be really cool because you can get you know a lot closer to them. Yeah. Um, it, it's got to have a different like feel. Like it's not going to be like an official game type thing. Um, I, I think that kind of stuff will be cool and. Uh, uh, I, I really honestly don't know what to expect. I'm kind of just, and I think we've talked about it. We're just going to get there and we're going to kind of see what happens, try to put up as much content as we can and have a good time along the way. Do you need more water? We're good. Okay. You got another I, question I, or are you okay? No, I'm good. I'm just trying to power through it. I'm putting on a brave face. I know. You uh, would you like me to take over the hosting right now? Sh- sure. You- I don't even know if I was host. I was just I was just trying to talk and well, make conversation. I, you, I know you were. I'm really worried about you now. No, well, you you're know, good. You know, you're you good. know, most times, if we're being completely honest, most times it, it's kind of like whatever. It's Elliot. He'll figure it out. He's funny guy here, funny guy there. He does have. He Thank does you. Have, I am funny. He, he does have pudding for brains most of the time. A little, well. There's a vast majority of the time where this this guy's <laughs> struggles. I, I also tell you, we're getting ready to go through another little tur- towards a big, one, big one more turn, and then I think we're straight out for that. Big, big C, another super chat. Appreciate you, big C. I brought something with me on this trip. You did that. I know what? you are gonna like very much. We'll bring it out later on. Yes, we do. We'll save that for another. Yeah, time. because right. But big now, C, I was thinking about you. Him to move. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. We don't to, need to do it we're now. In, we're in bad shape. Uh, so as far. <laughs> I can't believe that, that, that uh, of all of the times, when I tell you that we've been going in a row, we've been driving in this van for quite some time. There's not been a rougher stretch <laughs> of a drive <laughs> than we've had the past hour. Now, I'm not saying that that's the drive. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is that we just went down a two-lane highway in the middle of Kansas that they purposely built a toll road to try to avoid. But they would just try to save the company, buddy. And we and we decided then that uh, that we we're going to live stream. Why not? Let's let's go live. You know, I was thinking we should just stay live. 
No. Until no. until we lose service. That should be a part of the stream. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> the map said we're good to like Yeah, he can't do nothing about that. I mean, what do you want him to do, man? He can't he can't fix the road. <laughs> I mean, this is preposterous. <laughs> Just please focus. It's not. It's that's not. It's his not his fault. That's no one's fault. It's, it's, not his it's fault. nobody's fault. Yeah, I'm looking at the road. The roads. It, it turns out. That, it's God's uh, fault for putting me in this bus. It turns out there's some construction. <laughs> I don't have to tell. You know, orange barrels and bags that are up and down, up and down, up and down, yeah. up and down, up and down. That's. I mean, that's what I'm doing, and it's just rattling all the juices in my body. Uh, and I don't want to talk. I, again, I'm trying don't not to talk that. about. I'm not. Let's, 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 I'm not let's, trying let's, to talk about my so, juices. So about the Reds. We're trying to get. We're trying to. Dis Cincinnati we're trying Reds. to distract me. But uh, 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 Cincinnati Reds. Some would say. Some would say. Reds. They bring, they bring a Jonathan lot of India. I really like Jonathan India. I, I really think. I really think Jonathan India has got it this year. Let's move uh, on. <laughs> let's move on to something more important, which is when we get out to Arizona. You mentioned you're 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 excited for the backfields. What if? You could all do us a favor in the chat if you could let us know what you'd like us to try to accomplish while we're there. Yeah. Because if we were telling the truth right now, the truth is we don't 100% know exactly what we're going to try to accomplish while we're out there. I'm really hoping for Elliot's sake that we can figure it the fuck out on this road. <laughs> are I mean, are we driving? Are we, are, we, are, we, are we going on a highway that they've built in the United States? Yes, I did. I'm asking if they've if they've paved this road. Can I get a report on uh, that? All right, reports in. Uh, they they have not paved this road. I mean, this is pretty bad. Can I? I I'm sorry. This probably isn't very good television, but it, it might. Be I cannot minute. believe the numbers. Keep it may. Uh, They're listen. literally growing. Exactly why? Because we're on the verge of disaster. I mean, when I say disaster, yeah, disaster. All right, let me, Elliot. I'm gonna you guys, give you some. You guys gotta take it from me. Okay, I'll take it. Oh my God. Elliot. You guys gotta take it. All right, Elliot. Listen, I'm gonna pump you up. We got, we got like, we got probably four more minutes of the this. Soonest, the soonest gas station you see pulled over. The soonest one we see. I All gotta right. take a break. I gotta. Take He's gotta take off. a break. If you can, if you can get off. If if if, if not, we, get off. If, if get not, off. we're good. If not, we're good. But I I, I mean I want. I don't know what taxes are for. Why are we paying taxes? What What are we paying taxes for? I, I don't, again, I, my dad probably takes a lot of my taxes. I still live at home. I'm 24 years old. Get over it. But what are we paying it for? I'm driving over mountains. I have driven over a mountain. This is a highway. This is the highway. This is the freeway. Route 66. And I'm sitting up here trying to fight a stomach flu or whatever the hell's going on. Oh my god. I I, I think I'm gonna get through it. But I need to I need I need to stop. We need to stop. I don't know what the fuck we just drove over for the past five and a half minutes. But I want whoever the fuck in Kansas is responsible for it, I want them to lock the fuck up in a federal institution. Please take it over. I think you're supposed to say I digress. I, I'm sorry for cursing. Mom, if you're watching, I'm very sorry. Michael, uh, I think Michael Rolf, in all seriousness, Super C, that's not serious. Can you guys give your thoughts on Arroyo once? Arroyo. Edwin Arroyo, I'm assuming, Michael, wait. If the tires get you there to Arizona, I'm giving a huge Super C if Zebra pulls it's on. It's a lot better now. Peter's, better Peter's now. computer. Evan Arroyo, yeah, he's been really impressive so far in camp. Um, I talked with Charlie Goldsmith about it. He he said that he reminded him of <laughs> how am I supposed to focus? <laughs> it's every <laughs> bump. It's every bump. How have we hit every bump in the road? It's impossible to go 100 for 100 on bumps. It's impossible. If you see can make a goddamn free throw like we hit bumps on this fucking road, we win the fucking title every year. Sorry for cursing. I'm not cursing. This is a kid's show on a very sports, serious sports talk show. What about Edwin Arroyo? 
I think he's a great fielder personally. Now, as far as the bat, he's not the bat. I don't know if the bat plays obviously at the level in which everybody acts like it's going to play at right now, but uh, that's what spring training sports. I guess it's good for for all of us to get excited. The the, the we've hit so many bumps that the, that the camera Impossible. the camera listen the camera has 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 moved. <laughs> I'm like the camera up. has literally moved. You're, I mean, yeah, there we go. All right, we're back. I don't know how to fix this. Outside of saying, uh, let's focus on a rodeo real fast. Let's see if we can actually do. Some he's really good sports talk show stuff. Here. He's really talented. I really like what he's bringing to the table. Now, can we pump the brakes a little bit on him though? Like, because this is where I, I always, <laughs> uh, I try to, I try to feather expectations a little bit here because last season there were some people, <laughs> there were some people that were that were out on this kid. Yeah, because he's struggled a little bit in Dayton, and the truth is, is he's 19 years old. I mean, that's what like. That's what's kind of wild when you see the Cam Colliers of the world and the Edwin Arroyos of the world. Just because they've been in the system for a year or two, you kind of lose track or you lose sight of how old these kids are. I mean, when you're 19 years old, do you think of the difference between when you're 19 years old and when you're 20? Uh, how old was Matt McClain when he when he uh, when he debuted? 23. Three. I mean, between 19 and 23 years old. Think about back when you were 19 to when you were 23. And how big of a difference that was! It's seriously, it's 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 night and day. So what I'm saying in a roundabout way, in a long way here, is that I think he can be a great player. It's just having semi expectations of not not ruining <laughs> him. But again, Jose Barrero is a guy that I'll be honest. I wish I would I would I would love to have an option with him for one more season, but we don't. So if you bring guys up. I don't want to say too soon. Is it fair to say too soon? For Barrero, man, Barrero's a different. I mean, Barrero wouldn't have come up as early as he did. It's just because of COVID. Were, yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying he wouldn't have come up as early as he did if you think that they had like a championship franchise. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, the, the good part is, is like you're not counting on Edwin Arroyo. You're not counting on Cam Collier. Now, that could change. In two years, you might absolutely need those guys because sure. other guys, you know, don't pan out or. You know, some players have some injuries that just kind of derail their careers, or you know, right. all those kind of things happen. But um, yeah, you're not counting on any of those guys, and that's that's what's you know good about where the Reds are. But it's just good to see these guys progressing. Um, you know, when when the Reds traded for Edwin Arroyo, a lot of the top prospect evaluators said that Arroyo was the prize and not Marte. Right. Uh, and and Marte played incredible, and in, in, in his <laughs> you know did. five weeks we're in stopping. the we're stopping right. Thank yeah, you. We're stopping. Okay. They're they're getting they're getting you the to okay. get some water. Listen, we're gonna keep this stream rolling. I've made the executive decision, uh, and it can't get vetoed. Now, a little easy on the gas, Chief. <laughs> uh, I've made the executive decision that we're gonna live. Jeremiah, can you toss me my peanut butter crackers, please? We're gonna really. No, yeah, I. Yeah. Thank like, you. That seems like a bad idea. I just need. I. I need we're a gonna, lot of water. We're gonna stay live. We're gonna stay live. I need a lot of water. One of two things happens. We reach our destination, which is probably longer than 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 than. This is where Nick's gonna get mad at Trace because we still have a podcast to record. We're gonna go overboard. We're gonna be overtime. All these things. Nick's gonna be mad. He's gonna be looking for a union, looking for HR. All these things. Nick's gonna be looking for it. But here's the truth. We're going to stay live until we lose service or we get to where we're going. That's it. Period. So Elliot's going to get out of this van somehow. He's going to get need out of this van without, without ruining the stream. Now, listen, when you get out, you're going to have to be cautious here. Okay. Yeah. I think what I think what I'm going to grab me something to drink. I'll, I'll stay. And I just, yeah, thing. I just need a little you, walk. I just need a little you walk. Need a walk. You need some water. Oh, my Lanta. Somebody's dead. <laughs> Somebody's. We ran over somebody. Okay, listen, you need to go get some water. Can you bring me back? Jeremiah, I want you to come back on the street. Can you bring back? Can you? Yeah, Jeremiah's going to we, – we're going to put him in this seat. Yeah, he's going to sub in. You got to be careful. Um, yeah, we got to be very careful. This is a big league stream. We don't want to lose it. Use, go underneath. Let me get gas while we're here. It's on the side. Uh, unlock. It. Unlock it. Pull it up. Oh, my God. This guy's got pudding for brains. Right there where that big black thing is? Yes. Now, be very careful. All right. Uh, under the cord, I think, sir. I think we figured it out. Um, um, I, if you, my, my girlfriend said she's loving uh, the, the content. Yeah, right? I love it, too. If you could keep us alive to keep producing it, it'd be great. <laughs> Listen, I caught a curve. 
All right, this All is right. Jeremiah. So, uh, so this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, uh, I'll take a sweet tea. Good please. evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing? Pure leaf. Sure, My name is Jeremiah. I'll give you a credit. Card. We are currently in the middle of Kansas. This kid's not scared. That's good. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea where we are at all, all right. but how I'm stoked to be on the pod, boys. How long have you known us? So I've known you guys for going on not even three days. That's right. Hey, so, would you so, like this so credit Jeremiah. Card? Tonight was the for, first for the ever college basketball <laughs> game you've ever been to yeah. at Fall Gallon Fieldhouse. Yeah. I hate to tell you, it's all going to be downhill from there because this, <laughs> this is the best college basketball uh, environment I've ever been to. What did you think about Fall Gallon? Well, okay, so for starters, I've never been to a basketball game in my life. Like, let's just put that I have never been to a game in my life. So the fact that I'm going to... My first ever basketball game. Let me move this back. See, I'm getting you're good, you're good. But you're I'm good. going to my first ever basketball game. Um, and first thing being first with this with this great group of people. These guys are amazing. Nick, Trace, uh, Taylor, and 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 Elliot, huh? No, you nailed it. I okay, awesome, cool. Uh, but these guys are great. Anyways, the experience was amazing. It was electric in there. Every single seat was full. Uh, student section was going wild. It was it was it was absolutely amazing. So it's something that I will never forget. The Hall of Fame was amazing. The quotes on the walls. I saw we saw the official rules. Um, unfortunately, we did visit the burial of. <laughs> I'm getting fired. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm, I don't know how we're going to afford it, but we'll figure it out. Like, uh, if we get super chats like this every day. We'll be good. I mean, look, as long as you guys keep the super chats rolling in, we just keep the laughter rolling in, you know? Come on now. Self promoting. Yeah. Oh, man. Speaking of self promotion, gentlemen, download game time code C Box. (laughs) (laughs) This isn't even a bit. This is freaking big league, dude. Uh, oh yeah, man! Download the game time app. Yeah. Get uh, dollars <laughs> off your first purchase. Uh, use the code CBOX. CBOX. We do have a couple codes floating around there on the Chatterbox streets, as we know. Uh, the reality is, though, if you use CBOX, it supports our endeavors on the road. They, they, in fact, the crazy thing about all this is that we thought, you know what? I think we can get people interested. This is fun. This is a. This is America. This is the best thing about this trip that I've thought about the whole entire thing. When people ask me about this trip, this is America, like. The United States of America, whether you love it sometimes, you hate it other times, there's not many places in the world where you can just straight up grab a bunch of dudes, decide you're going to get in a van, <laughs> go across the country, go do a whole bunch of stuff, get on these roads, which to be fair to Elliot's point, I mean, we do pay taxes for them. I don't know exactly if that's budgets uh, are rightly aligned. But here's the thing. All in all, what an amazing opportunity we have to live in this country. Not to get overly patriotic or crazy or political uh, or nothing like wrong that. With that. But my point to saying all that is that um, game time was like, we've never really supported social like trips or anything like that. We've never done this before. We're going to give you some credits, to be honest. They're going to give some credits to cover the cost of the tickets because that's a significant part of this. And they're like, we'll see how many codes you get. If you get, I think, here's the crazy thing. I'm being serious. If you can support us, we love you. They said something along the lines like, if you guys get 50 codes, 50 codes, five zero codes, then like you killed it. You killed it. Obviously, there's plenty of people in here right now that can help us get that. But if you download the game time app, you put in the code CBOX, you get 20 bucks off whenever you decide to buy tickets. So there's that. That's enough self promo for that. And it takes 15 seconds not to interrupt. I'm just like, it's literally like you type in just a couple clicks. I know it doesn't take anybody longer than half a second to type. A couple words and you're you know it's true this is true so, so here's the thing you you're 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 shooting a video for us yes you got the call let's walk through all that you got the call from another we don't have to go through all the weeds and name people etc cetera, etc cetera. but you got the opportunity <clears throat> presented to you per se mm-hmm. we're running on a shoestring budget mm-hmm. if we're gonna call it that and what what was the tipping point to get you to come like did you ever consider not coming genuinely um so no not at all i was like you guys actually gave me a call at the perfect time you know i was uh just asking i'm not asking like it was every single day i was waking up uh just kind of praying to god for like a a opportunity because i was kind of in like a little drought um but i always loved videography and just uh filming 
Yep. And and I love stuff like this, podcasts and everything like that. Yep. You guys gave me the call. I did not turn it down right away. Never you know. even considered like, oh, it's not too at all. long. Nope. Blah, 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 blah. Nope. You guys Man. said that you needed somebody. I was there. You know, I, I told. Here. That's, you're damn right. Yeah. And, and uh, the person who called me about this opportunity, I told them that, you know, the my compensation does not matter. As long as I get the experience, I get to help these guys out. You know, they right. need somebody. I can be here. Um, and you know, same with Elliot, Elliot had to, had to tap out for a second. So I'm just subbing in and yeah, you were, you were helping out the boys, you know, team, you're a team guy, man. I mean, <laughs> I appreciate that. Guy, all team guys right now. One so, thing I want to so. touch on real quick. Yes. Is this man, Elliot told me to throw him back these crackers that have laid untouched on the table unscathed. Not a single piece of terrors on these crackers, ladies and gentlemen. I threw these back to him for him to leave them on the table. That's right. And I do think Elliot was trying to was trying to really, <laughs> quite frankly, get himself in a position where he was thinking about anything other than what was going on. Elliot is amazing. He he powered through that trip like a champ. All right, we got to do some housekeeping. I'm sorry, I was trying to find the super chats. It's uh, we got super chats galore yeah. right now. Uh, Justin, appreciate you. Elliot's about to blow throw confetti. Uh, Jeremiah <laughs> has no good how good he is. By the way, this guy is clueless. <laughs> he's, he's literally clueless. I'm There's just no being idea. myself, boys. I, and that's what's amazing. You're going to find yourself having back, a job baby. before we get back. I know Chris, uh, hopefully Chris isn't watching, but Chris is. <laughs> My, Michael Rolf is uh, super chatting to hopefully find some some Pawnee. Is there Pawnee in Kansas? In all seriousness, uh, can I get a poll? Do we do a poll question on here? <laughs> You're really asking for stuff here. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, you said I he's taking over. I mean, do you have YouTube in here? Try it. Try it. Can we finish the super chats? All right, can, we'll do a yes or no in the comments. Can we do it that way? Yes or no in the comments. Now, listen, I'm not, I'm not advocating for this, but you know, sometimes you partake in certain things when you're when you're enjoying your life, right? Elliot's drinking water. Some people, you know, like a cigar. Personally, I think it would be funny. Do you think it would be bad? I guess this is openly saying this out loud. I know that some people might think this is a terrible idea as a, as a as someone that owns a business. But if we were to go to a distillery, don't you think that would be some funny content that we could drum up? Just saying. In Colorado, it's free. Uh, not free, excuse me. But it is, uh, it's a free state to do that in regards to legal. I'm not trying to break any rules here. But I'd like to know if, if the chat think that would be think that would be a late night stream. <laughs> with... with 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 just you know a couple gummy bears. Yeah, that? listen, listen. A couple gummy bears. Now he has no he he, he, he of course. Well, how old are you? he's eight? He's in here. I'm not he's saying I'm almost twenty. He's almost buddy. twenty. He's, he's, he, are you sure yeah, I don't I don't know how old you need to be. So we're not going to talk whether or not whether or not you do whether or not you do that. You you're, yeah you're, no 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 I'm uh, I'm just the uh, guys, behind the we'll scenes. See, we'll see what happens. So let, but that's your nor there. Seems like a seems like a funny idea. I think it would be funny. We got to go live at like one in the morning Eastern, and then make sure it's not up for replay. Are you okay? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to roll. All right, he's back. So here's the All thing. Right. Jeremiah has zero clue how good he is. This kid's like Tony Gwynn stepping in pinch hitting right now. <laughs> just ripping ripping doubles all over the yard. And he's just like, hey, am I, am I all right? Am I doing a good job? I'm like, oh, yeah, doing a great job. <laughs> doing a great I job. appreciate that very keep much. Keep it moving. Keep it going. Uh, as long as you, you have any final parting thoughts. You, you, I mean, uh, I you just... speak so eloquently on this microphone. <laughs> thank you. Thank uh, you. Is there anything that you want to partake or say before you before you go back up front? Uh, I just want to thank you guys for letting me come on the trip and uh, keep the Super Chats rolling. If you don't keep the Super Chats rolling, then there's a, there's a serious issue because that would mean that you're just sitting there watching and, you know. Say this bus don't <laughs> drive itself, baby. This bus don't drive itself, ladies and gentlemen. And if you, you know, I'll be behind the wheel at some point and oh, all right, <laughs> I'll just call it at that. My name is Jeremiah and yeah, take care. Yeah. Take care. <laughs> all right. We'll work off. We'll work on his uh, sign off skills. He was trying to figure out exactly what he's supposed yeah. to say to get out of here. And that's okay. But he was electric. He's excellent. He's asking questions, Elliot. saying things, who yeah. knows what he was doing, Come but here, um, we haven't lost service. Come here. We aren't at our destination, which means we're going to stay live. I don't know how long ultimately we have. We need to get Elliot back in here, clearly, because he's he's who knows where. Um, you have fruity guns? Yeah. Supposedly, it's supposed to bring me some sweet tea. What's your what's your what's your favorite? Dude, you're gonna. What's your favorite uh snack? Beef jerky. Beef jerky for real. Yeah. 
Yeah, I I couldn't do that to him though. I was I, was, I wouldn't do it. I was thinking about getting some, but uh, Cheez Its. Okay. I love Cheez Its. Cheez Its. Be careful right there now. Good job. Good move. Nice That's what work. I got in Mansfield when I about nice, got left on very, the Very very nice bus. work by you, Elliot. We're good. All right, so sorry. Do you feel better? I feel Can we better. start there? I feel better. On a on a Are you a little semi do you have buyer's remorse for what you said about the the, the, the state the state of uh, Kansas and their public highways? No, I no, unfor- unfortunately I, I, I have uh, nothing nothing nice to say uh, uh, whatsoever. You guys okay? Who's got a 50-50 burger? Michael Rolf, it's a 50 burger, says super chat for doing what you want. And let Jerry, I think it's Jeremiah. And I sub for a night, Chatterbox Reds. And by the way, I charge this. I don't know if we're you. Gonna, I, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. I, I don't know if how I. Did this unplug. First we're gonna lose all. power before we lose wife. I don't know if I've said it. Uh, Taylor's doing a really good job as well. Yeah, he is. And, and you know, here's and, the thing about Taylor. And, and he might have. He might have not gotten that message when I was yelling at everybody a couple right. minutes ago. He might. Yes. He might. That might have been lost. Right. In the translation, as oh, they I say. Was but boss. Taylor was driving. Uh, Taylor's doing a very good job on this trip, and I want to thank him for his service. And Taylor will be coming on Chatterbox Red podcast sure. later this week. Yes, I feel a little bit better now. Yes, as long well, as we don't. Good. As long as we don't go over the terrain. Now, I, I saw this sign. All right. Well, I went. I went. I went into the. <laughs> I, I went into the. This is amazing. I went into the gas station. Can we fire this car uh, up? It's getting cold. We're gonna fire up the van. Uh, I, I went into the gas station, and I guess they do this. To any new people that uh, come into the great state of Kansas, uh, if you drive over the roads, I guess they make a little mockery of you. I guess you just got to be uh, part of it. But it says, caution, road humps. So I got this sign. It says, caution, road humps. I got it here at the gas station. They're doing it to prank people, I guess. If you survive the nausea you get when you're driving over the many, many rocks that we did, uh, you get to the gas station and all of a sudden you get a cute little sign. So that's what I got. And I think we can hang it. Uh, unfortunately, we can't hang it up anywhere up top because of the bumps that we're experiencing. Uh, it's just gonna be it's just gonna be straight misery. So, I, again, I got this for you, boss, and, and I want we'll you to take it with up. honor. We'll hang this up. Yeah. Um, I can't believe that this was just in there. Two ninety nine, great value, great value. Hey, listen, the people of Kansas, they're not good at making roads, but I'll tell you what, they are good at making value, profitable signs that are gimmicky. That's the profitable gimmicky signs. They're doing their best. Well, just get that sticker off there. Yeah, I'll get we, this. We, I'll get we, this. We don't want people to know how much you paid for it. Yeah, it's two ninety nine. Two dollars and ninety nine cents. Seems like a lot. Now Nick's Nick's gone. He said he has to go and use the restroom. I guess so. Now we're in a situation where Trace is trying to run his little setup, but I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Um, all right. So here's the thing. Yeah. While while Nick's gone. Yeah, I'm sorry for yelling before. I I, I got. No, I, I knew you were gonna have a little buyer's remorse with what you said earlier. But let me tell you. Yeah. That's just part of it. You know. Sometimes yeah. you say things, you know, you, you see guys like Kevin Newman, play sure, shortstop, sure. And you do you say things that you do in the heat of the moment that yeah, you like, don't really mean, yeah, like, like you're he's like slow, you're can't a, move, yeah, no good for nothing piece of shit. <laughs> then you're you a watch, bum. You watch guys like Jonathan India play second base, and <sighs> you sometimes say things that you don't mean, maybe, like, you, yeah, you say things you don't mean, like this guy can't. He couldn't. He couldn't move outside of a phone booth if his life depended on it. You know, if he fell over flat, he'd have more range. I don't know things if I follow like, those metaphors. Things like that. Um, but jo- the Jonathan India is fine. I, I everybody We're in this. this right I'm not going to. Do, right you just brought it up. I'm not doing this. You just brought it up. I didn't. So I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Point. I'm going to talk about it a little bit. Jonathan India is going to have a breakout year. I'm tired of the slander. I'm tired of people like Trace getting in talk shows on on, on, on the sports talk media. Right. And, and and you get all fired up and you get all chatty and whatnot. Really? You get all chatty about Jonathan India because you think he's not a very good defender. He's not. I'll give you that. That's all but, I ever said. But he's moving. He's moving positions. But you because you said he was unwilling to. Well, that's what it cer- certainly felt like last year. He but then he said, off the appearance that he didn't want to move. But he him. said he would, though. Can I, can I, can I, can I make an oath to you? Yeah, you can. If Jonathan India decides he wants to play outfield, yeah, okay. I want to say a bad thing about him. Okay. I won't say a bad thing about him. What I if he makes? Went to the, I almost said I was going to get a jersey, but that seems like a waste of money considering <laughs> he might not be on the team in six months. <laughs> I mean that's just such disrespect. Now let me ask you this, because I know I think it's going to happen. Unfortunately, and this is my guy, Jonathan India. It's a lot easier to do a fucking show like this. Uh, If Jonathan India is in left field, and and let's say one of those six forty start times when the sun's beating down on you over there, and he drops and he drops a and he drops a couple baseballs, are you going to still be upset with him? 
defensively? No, no. Because he's trying something new. I can't be upset at him for being out there and being new. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. No. I will be upset at the franchise for continuing to think that they can just take infielders and stick them in the outfield and it's just going to work out. Yeah. That seems to be the thing that, that the Reds have done recently. And yeah. Yeah, I get the whole notion. And I've heard it in college. I heard it all the time in college. I'd be like, oh, we're, we're only going to recruit shortstops. You know why? Because they can play anywhere. Yeah. I got news for you. Elliot, let me tell you a true story here real fast. Okay. I'm, uh... I, I thought I, I – I, again, if I could hit, I, I would have played professional baseball. But I couldn't hit. <laughs> Okay. But I could field. I definitely yeah. could field. Yeah. I, I I could. So I feel like I was a pretty elite fielder. Yeah. When I tell you I got stuck in the outfield one time and I lost the ball in the clouds, mm-hmm. that actually happened. And from that point forward, I thought these aren't the same positions. This isn't even the, the remotely the same concept uh-uh. that we're trying to do here. Now, if you give me a year, two years to figure out the whole outfield thing, maybe I could figure it out. But it's not as easy as everyone wants to make it out to. No, not at all. Like, oh, yeah, just go, go, uh, let's, let's run Barrero out. Put him out there in center field. <laughs> oh, Nick Senzel, yeah, put him out there. That dude's doing cartwheels and circles out there in the center field trying to figure out how to catch a fly ball. I mean, it's not easy. It's not easy. And I so think that's all due to Spencer Steer. Give him a little respect for doing it. I give, I give Spencer Steer a hell of a lot of respect for doing it. I, I think being a Swiss Army knife like he is, yes. moving all around the infield, all around yeah. the outfield. I think the only two positions he doesn't play are catcher and center field. He might, he might start playing center field if something goes wrong this year. I, I think it's I think it, it I think it's great, and I think it says a lot about Major League Baseball where you have situations like this because you want to keep your depth and you want to be competitive. You have to have guys playing positions they don't play. Yeah. When you look at the NFL, it doesn't happen. You can't have a, a wide receiver play running back. You can't have a running back play D line. It doesn't work like that. Baseball, they're trying to do it, and they're trying to uh, expand uh, the role of of what a person can be, uh, what a player can be. And it's thank you very much for opening my crackers. No problem. Um, and I think it's interesting to see. I don't know. We'll see what happens with Jonathan India. Uh, I, I I still have high I still have high praise for him. I still have high hopes for him. Uh, as long as as long as the haters go away or just be quiet for a little bit, just just quiet down. If he hits into 10 double plays in the first 10 games, sure, we can talk about sending him to Siberia, wherever the hell you guys want to send him. But I don't want to do that. I'm not ready Without to be rude. Did you did you get me sweet tea? No, I did not. I for, I, 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 I kept asking you and it, it just I, my brain wasn't it wasn't in a good place. I got you a water. I got you a water. I thought a water was uh, That's perfectly fine. A, was appropriate. But at least you admitted it. You said I forgot. That's cool. No, I did. I, I, I kept asking, and, and listen, this was on me. My brain wasn't in a great place about 10 minutes ago. Sure. I found it along the way, and we're fine. Great now. brand, by the way. That's Pawnee, right? Yeah, Pawnee. Okay, and, and that's it. Is there anything else you'd like to – what did I miss while I was gone? Did you guys talk about good stuff? Well, Jeremiah sat in your seat and got on his truth. Yeah. Kid's got talent. He's got talent. Now, while Kirby's gone, we only got so much time to talk about him while he's gone. Okay. okay. He's, walking to the car right he's walking to the car right now, says Taylor. When I tell you this guy snores <laughs> – you don't understand. <laughs> I'm gonna. I was so tired last night. I fell asleep at three o'clock. Sure. Do you know how tough? You know how? You know how tough you got to make it for me to wake up at five thirty. Yeah. And not be able to go back to sleep. That's got to be brutal. Yeah. I think, but I think I'm gonna be with him tonight. Is that the plan? Well, or later? well I got news for you because I heard the report in from Taylor. Well, is, 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 is it's a it's a it's a it's a it's, it's a, sn- a duel. I would say it's a duel. But duels two people, right? Yeah. So it's it's whatever a three person race would be. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know if you can say that one. I, I I don't know if that one got canceled yet. But I listen. I I think that if me Taylor and Kirby we all get in a room. Yeah. And, and we seriously we seriously think about what's going on. We'll, we'll have a conversation. I'll record some of it. I'll, I'll maybe I'll try to keep one of those snoring monitors on. There's apps for it. Hey Nick, just so you know, this thing right here, it's a microphone. If you drag it across the table, it doesn't sound good in your ear. Doesn't sound good. Go ahead. Appreciate uh, it. But so we'll, no we'll, we'll try that experiment tonight. I thought my sleep was great last night. I had a. We're oh, good yeah, to leave. As long as you drive down a straight highway. We're please, ready to roll. please, please avoid the bumps. Turn the camera just a little bit first. Perfect. Thanks. Uh, please avoid the bumps. I'm sure that camera will get thrown yeah. to the wind anyway here in a bit. Um, uh, did you see my sign, Nick? Did I show you this? No. So it says caution road humps. And I think that's important because we're going to go over a lot more of them, and we went through a lot of them. And they and they sell it there in the gas station. 
So, so. Ellie, you can, will you sign that before the trip's over? Yeah, I'll get a, I'll get a, I'll get a sharpie and we'll Is sign it. Still more people growing on this. I don't know what how or why, but but listen, I, let me stop and say, what's happening here? No, we got a lot of people watching. We got twenty five people. We got watching. a lot of people like, this watching. This is like Chatterbox Reds. Yeah, it's just the ten game win streak stuff. Yeah. We're oh, then I apologize for cursing. No, listen, I, that's probably why I they're think watching. That's why they're watching. Uh, I, I apologize. No, I, I think they were. Well, they, first of all, we were on a watch for for real. Okay. You know what I'm saying? People like disaster. Yeah. World. You know, UFC, NFL, two highest grossing sports that there are currently. You know what they both have in common? People almost dying. They pe- That's what we like as yeah. humans. We like people near death. You were almost there, brother. I You were close. I was close. How close genuinely were you? There was. Without if, getting graphic. Dude. If we wouldn't have stopped, there there would have been a situation where I would have had to lay down. I, I, I don't puke ever, and I don't like even talking about it, yeah. but I really don't. I, I The last time something like that has happened to me, um, was about I, I, I no joke. It was like twelve years ago. I think twelve years ago was the last time I got sick or something came out uh, that you don't want to see. All right, but I got to be graphic. All right, hold on. Yes, I just want to say I'm yes. ready. I'm locked in. I, I just want to say I was so confused because right before we went live, yeah. Trey said we're going to go live for ten or fifteen minutes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, I, I but no, hey, I'm I'm locked into this long right. I just had to recalibrate, okay. and uh, now now we're, well, we're how, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Well, here's the thing. That's the expectations. The expectations are we're we're back on the road, which <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or bad. Thing. <laughs> we have to get we have to eat up some hours tonight because tomorrow we got to wake up um, relatively early. Sure. Relatively early. Sure. We got to be in Denver by three thirty. We got our first race. We got it. By the way, it's a best of three race. Uh, go karts. Go karts. Yeah, not NASCAR. What do you think? Not NASCAR. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? What do you think the point value system should be if you finish first, second, or third on the point scale? Um. What you know? what I'm saying. If yeah. You finish first, you get five points. If you finish second, you get three. You finish last, you get one. Then, therefore, after three races, you add those up, and whoever wins wins. I think three gets. If you come in last, you get zero. Zero points. I think it's three points for the winner. Two points for second, can, zero points can, for last. In the chat, and I say chat, is there anyone in the chat that could offer us some uh, advice as well? We're open to open to suggestions. So tomorrow we're going to write race in these. Now I don't know if I told you this or not. Yeah, this is where kind of I do things sometimes that I, I wonder if I should do them, and then I just kind of ask for forgiveness later. Sure. These go karts, I think, are like really fast. Is that concerning to you at all? No, I, I I drive fast. I'm I'm a fast driver. I I listen. I've never gotten a ticket or anything like that. Never, never. I've never ever gotten a ticket. Wow. I, have I you know, ever got pulled over. I have never gotten pulled over in my entire life. Yeah. I, I like to think. We know he ain't getting out of a ticket. I've never. I've. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? I you know. You know exactly what it means. No, I don't know what it means. And, and, and it's truth. And what does it mean? It means. You know exactly what it means. Don't keep saying it. You got to explain it you, to me. Do you know when Roger Clemens took steroids and his buddy that 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 told on him? They they secret recorded him and he called him up and he said, "It is what it is." And he kept saying that over and over to yeah. Roger. It is what it is, Roger. It is what it is. He was basically trying to say, "Roger, you did it. You know you did it. You know what I meant." Sure. Okay. Okay. I don't know what he meant. You have uh, to but I it. listen. That that's fine. I I'm I'm a very good driver. Yes. Uh, and I actually am. I, I've never been in an accident. I I I've well, I've been in one technically. Technically, I've been in an accident. Oh, I was driving into my job at Mike's Car Wash. Yeah. Uh, if no, no free, free ads, ads, no free ads. Oh, they got one. They got a car wash, and his name's Mike. Yeah. I was driving into work, and I had a 2006 Jeep Cherokee Sport, and with this Jeep Cherokee Sport. I was going down a hill. The, the, the brakes weren't on, on this car great. Right. I've had two cars in my life, both of them not great. I was going down the road, and I hit the brake. There was, a mail, there was a mailman at the bottom of the road, and I knew there was a mailman, so I hit the brakes pretty early down the hill. Yeah. The car threw, I'm not kidding, an entire football field. It kept sliding, and it kept sliding, and it kept sliding, and it inched all the way to the point where I just kissed the mailman. I just kissed the back of the mailman and he got out of his car or his truck or whatever you call it. And, uh, he, he, he came out and he said, listen, did your, any, did any of your, uh, airbags deploy? He was the coolest mailman I've ever seen. I'm like, no, he's like, okay, you're fine. This is a company car. I don't, it's not my car. You're fine. 
so he let me out. And that was it. I, there was no damage to any car. That was the only accident that I've ever been in. I've never that's been. The problem with, I, I, that's the problem with government. Yeah. Right? That's the problem with government. I don't. I can't hear myself anymore. I don't even know. What happened? Am I on? Am what I happened? On? Can you hear me or no? Speak. Speak a little. I hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I hear okay. you. No, I can't hear myself. So you're a little. You're a little low. But... Little low. Is this me or no? This is me right here, right? Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll pull me up. All right. So here's the thing. That's the problem with government. What you just explained is the problem with government. They don't care about nothing. It's they get paid no matter what. Yeah. Do you think those guys that are on the side of the road really worry about whether or not these things are flat highways or no. if they got a little bit of a hump in them? No. No, they don't. Because I can tell you, you know why I know? Why? How do you know? Because my ass is telling me right now they don't care. <laughs> I I'm trying to think. Is it of, always this bad? I'm trying. I'm asking. It serious, wasn't. This it, is a sincere question. Yeah. This isn't a bit. People might think all these guys are trying to get on the internet, trying to be funny, trying to talk stupid. I'm not talking stupid at all. We've been doing this for what seems like 14 hours, and we've never driven down roads this bad. I don't. I was so I was driving for a lot of this trip. As the camera moves, I was driving through well, a lot. It has of, no I, choice. I was driving through a lot of. The, it was never this bad, right? When I was driving, I don't think it was. I'm trying to remember a road where it was just nonstop bumps, and I can't and I can't recall it. I don't know what they got going on in Kansas, and I and again I already went on my rant. I'm not going to say anything. Can mean. somebody in the chat let me know how so, much money the state of Kansas has compared to others? What do they rank? Where they does the rank like like I know Alabama's last. Well, uh, we got a few states that we can think of that are probably last. Yeah, Kansas has to be right there, neck and neck with them. Has to be. I mean, it just has to be. And it's not good. And you're starting to see it on Trace's face now. Kirby's a, Kirby's a warrior. There's nothing that phases this guy. Nothing. Reds can lose every single season till the sun burns out. But as long as they got a couple prospects, five years in the wings, Kirby's fine. Kirby's great. Nobody's ever been nobody's ever been better in the history of sports fandom than Nick Kirby. And that's in regards to all aspects of life. And we're, yeah. we're driving down a road, and, and right. I think. The There's vehicle, no the vehicle has slowly started to tip at several times. Yeah. It, the van has started to tip to the right, and then it swings back to the left. That's why people don't like Nick as much is because there's jealousy. There you, is you jealousy. You look over to Nick, and you think, I wish I could live my life like that. Yeah. Instead, what what I do is I, you know, I argue with people on the internet, and I get all mad, and, 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 and I tell people how good at baseball I used to be and all those types of things. But what they really do is – they look at Nick. They see how optimistic he is, how happy he how is. happy he is, and they literally just get pissed off. That's how you hate Nick Kirby. I think that is. I, I it's one hundred percent why. Yes. And, and, and as a Reds fan, I think it's enti- you're entitled. Every Reds fan that's watching right now, yeah, you're entitled to be frustrated with how this this franchise has been run over the past two decades. There has not been a lot of winning. You can point to a couple seasons, and that is it. I get we're a small market. I get you're in a tough division. I get everything. But at the end of the day, and I don't know how I got on this, and I'm going on tangents Please now. do it. Go. But you're allowed to be frustrated and express that on X.com. I'm allowed to get mad. If I don't like a certain owner, and I won't name them out of respect. What do they rhyme with? For be- our boss. Be- because they are paying us, uh, allegedly. That's right. I forgot. So, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna call them out. But when you genie? look at when you look at the history of, of their ownership, there hasn't been a lot of winning. So all I ask, and you're seeing it right now, and that's why that's why Nick and Trace got together and started Chatterbox Reds, and it's be, it's become the behemoth it's become, is because for the first time in a long time, the Reds have hope. It looks like they're doing it the right way. So maybe all these years of failure that the Reds have shown us, and that Nick has sat through with a with a smile on his face, with never a doubt, he never had a doubt. Maybe it's all been leading up to this this season. And, and, and I, maybe we're overhyping everything. I've, I was thinking about this the other day. There's a chance that we're overhyping this Reds team. Well, of course. There's a serious chance. Vegas, Vegas, you know, we all know Vegas usually gets it right. Our win total is 82 and a half. Will there ever be a, 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 a season like last year where every single rookie comes up? And for the most part, every single rookie dominates. But I – but. Uh, this year, if they're able to like not even not even do what they did last year, if they're able to play up to what I think they're capable of, just a little bit, halfway, give me half of what they did last year, and we're gonna be fine. You have depth all around this roster, all around it. We have starting pitchers and bullpen relievers. We got everybody right now. 
This is as loaded as we can get. And people are still going to get upset uh, that we traded Luis Castillo, and I kind of agree. People are still upset over the – I don't know who would who would be still upset. People are still upset about uh, let, uh, letting go of Jesse Winker and Eugenio Suarez. Yeah. People are going to be upset about not signing Joey Votto. Fair gripes at the time that they all happened. But as of for right now, this Reds team is going to be good. I firmly believe it. I have to believe it. I don't think we're overhyping it. I think Vegas is wrong. I think this team's going to win 86 to 87 baseball games. I think there's a couple teams in this division that are going to drastically get worse. And that one, one of them being the Milwaukee Brewers. I firmly believe it. But I, I again, just be, just be a Nick Kirby for this year. If it doesn't work this year, we can all go back and we can go it on the dark side of Reds Twitter and right. we can, and we can buy billboards and do all that nonsense and we can go ahead and do it because I'm frustrated too. It's not like I, it's not like I'm I'm I'm, a, I'm an optimist. Everybody knows that. I'm a, well, uh, I'm Bryce, a neg- Bryce Balding doesn't put a super chat in here. Uh, he says Elliot's going to start another protest. It seems I'm not going to start another protest. I protested one time and it was rightful at the time. Me and Caleb five one three, that beautiful ball hawk, we marched up to Great American Ballpark. When they sold all of our players to the high video of this. What's this? Why there's not video of this is a disgrace. Well, I have pictures of it. I have pictures of it. There was videos of Caleb. Caleb had his own people marching on a different side of the ballpark. I was on my side of the ballpark. I was right in front of the Pete Rose statue. Uh, is there a Pete Rose statue? Yeah, there's a Pete Rose statue. I'm, I'm not losing it. Um, so I was outside of that one, and I was doing a little march with my sign, and I, and I marched uh, back and forth. I don't think uh, there's a Pete Rose statue, but there's a – Is there not a Pete Rose a, statue? A Rose Isn't there one him of sliding? There's a rose garden. I could be completely wrong. There's that, one that, of him that, sliding in front of the ballpark, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like Wolverine. In uh, front of the ballpark? Yes. He's sliding towards home. Definitely Pete Rose. There's definitely Pete Rose statue. I'm not wrong. I'm a Reds fan. Uh, that's you? what I am. Okay. Sliding. You keep doing what you're doing. I like that. That was good. That was fun. Do you get it? I'm a Reds fan. That's, that's what, what I am. am. Is there that's a mo- the will you Will you admit that's I've the worst thing to hear heard. after we lose? Well, you admit that's the very worst thing to hear after the Reds lose. Every time I hear it, I want to legit lay down on the concourse amongst the filth and the hot dogs and the popcorn. And I would just want to lay there and be one with the dirt and the slime. And I just want to be that and be and just be sad and depressed whenever I hear it after we lose four to three after blowing three runs in the top of the ninth. That's how I feel after that. And and I won't mention the owners because they pay my salary, allegedly. Right. Um, genie, right? But they know what they're doing when they play that song. Will you admit that it's a terrible song? Please. It's fine. I've, I've never one time thought about one this. time. Uh, one time. Uh, one time have I thought, man, that really irks me. Boy, that boils me. One time. All right, can we please, for the love of God, get to some of these super chats? Yeah, let's do it. I didn't even know we had super chats. Let's do it. Well, if you, if you let me get it a word. Well, I mean, just just start interrupting. You're not going to want to read. Nick, I know Nick. He's not going to want to read one of them. Go ahead, Nick. Read well, them. I got 50 of them to get to. So well, let's first start one, reading them away. And I can't even scroll, so it's a, it's a treat. So You can scroll. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Natty Ron asked, Zebra, did you bring him Grippos? Natty Ron, I might have made a mistake. Oh. As I was packing for this trip. You I, mean to tell me I that knew, Natty Ron is where, – where's Natty Ron from? He, here's, he, I think he's in Arizona. So I, we're going to see Natty? I think, we're, I think we might see Natty. Natty, me. Natty, Natty. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to get your address. I'm going to send you legitimately a box of Grippos when I get home. I knew I knew you told me to do it, and I forgot. That's my bad. Hand up. Tell me if you want the barbecue or the regular ones, and I will buy you a box. I will send them to you. Hand up. I'll That's my add, bad. I'll add another box. He'll add another box. We'll get two boxes. Uh, another super chat. And Grippos, if you'd like to support Chatterbox Sports, reach out. Yeah. Uh, Michael Rolf, do we as a collective? My, wait, wait. Is this Michael Rolf again? Yeah, the guy's the guy's a freaking machine. <laughs> I mean, legitimate. You know what you you know what you need to do when you need a super chat. You put Michael Rolf in. <laughs> do we, as need, a collective you, group, like India as a player for the Reds? I do. I think there's a lot of factors of play here. But Mark, I love his mentality. Dynamic topic, fan boys. Your thoughts. You know my thoughts. I think it's Nick's turn to give his thoughts. I I like Jonathan Indy as a player. I mean, I don't think he's a perfect fit for the Reds, but I don't like. I I don't understand this notion that he can't be valuable. Like he could be valuable. Um, Every player has an opportunity cost. If Jonathan Indy would have brought a huge return, then you take that because you know 
you don't have a perfect spot for him. But if you're not getting a big return, you keep good players. That, that's how you, you you build a, a sustained franchise. So, yeah, I, I, I like India. Um, I think he's had a good mentality. Uh, I think everything I've seen so far in spring training has been positive. I think it would have been very easy for some of it to be a distraction, you know, with, with India and moving yep. positions. And I think he's handled it well. So I'm rooting for him. I think it'd be awesome if he like became a I agree. really his good outfit. His attitude has attitude seemed to change too. Yeah. I don't know if it was, but see that's, and that's where you lose me. What do you mean? Because I don't, and speaking of distractions, you guys ever try to talk while just bouncing up and down like this? Preposterous. Uh, but Jonathan India is again number one depth. This is a, this is something that the Reds did not have towards the end of last year, and why we were forced to sign Harrison Bader and uh, Renfro or whatever the guy's name was, Hunter Renfro. Yeah, yeah. We so did so this is a guy that's great. the The second part of it is a. I think Jonathan India that meant that that mentality was there last year. I don't know if the Reds asked him to do it. What? I don't think the Reds asked him to go. Hey, John, you want to go out in the in left field right now? I, I agree. I don't think they asked him to, but. But his, multiple, com- his comments were different there's, last there's year. There's multiple quotes from him last year that basically stated that that he's a second, I'm baseman. A second baseman. How how else are you supposed to take that? Why don't he? And again, I'm all I. Here's the thing about Jonathan India. Yeah, I don't like getting into this because it ultimately turns into sound like I'm against Jonathan India. I'm not. I'm not against him. Yeah. What I am against is saying you're a leader, saying you're a team captain. Being a face of the franchise, sure. saying you want all of these things, sure. and then you come out and you say that you're a second baseman when you've finished dead last defensively, damn near every year that you've been a second baseman. This isn't like this isn't even speculation. This isn't a guess. This isn't like I think Will Benson could hit lefties. We could yeah. argue that. Correct. We, we we could have a, a a reasonable debate. You can't possibly debate whether or not Jonathan India is a good second baseman as as a defensive player. So. Then when you have quotes that say, I'm a second baseman, you start to think to yourself, okay, now you're leveraging the fact that you think that you are you have to play there to be relevant. And that's the part, I guess, if there was an, if there was a gap between what the truth is and what maybe the perception is, I perceived him to not want to move. So I will say and hand up, I'm sorry if that's not been the truth. If he's willing to move or he wanted to move last year, Go for it. And I'll also say this, last point I'm going to make. I don't think that he thought that the that the young kids were going to be as good as they yeah, were. Yeah, I think that's I true. Think to see them play in the big leagues. Yeah. And they played probably a month, and he started to think, like, all right, it is what it is. It, it is what it is. I think that's actually these I th- guys are actually probably pretty damn good. I think that's actually the best point you've made. And he was sick and tired of hearing about these guys coming up. Like, oh, yeah, what are these guys going to be like? I've actually done it. I've been rookie of the year. I don't want to hear about some kid in AAA is going to replace me. Never, yeah. He's never done it here before. I can understand with that. I could vibe with that. And, and I, I think there is – I mean, I, I'll let you – I'm sorry, Nick. I, I just wanted to say I, I think there is a competition factor to it. 100%. When they all have egos. They 100, have 100%. They have to. And, and I think Jonathan India, like you just said, saw the talent, the, the raw ability, the hype. Just the again, I, I mentioned this on off the bench. I mentioned it all year. Ellie De La Cruz, similarly to Joe Burrow, has brought something into this city that really nobody has. And Jonathan India, the year prior, was the fan favorite. He's the guy everybody was buying jerseys of him and Tyler Stevenson. Mm-hmm. And I think there was a little bit of, of disdain, and maybe that affected his, his play on the field. Maybe it didn't. And, and this is just all speculation, but that's at least my thought. And I think that was a great point. Yeah, we said last year. I don't think either one of us had any problem. With Jonathan, they just saying I want to be a second baseman. It's clear you make more money as a second baseman than an outfielder. I, I was saying I'm giving him praise for accepting his reality. Hey, I yeah. there wasn't a trade partner that was worth it while, and this could have been a real distraction in camp. And so far to this this point, it hasn't been a distraction. But this this all started, Trace. The whole like talk about India started. Let's remind people it started because we thought that Matt McLean. Ellie De La Cruz yep. and Noel V. Marte were the best infield. And if we got one thing right, I think we got that one pretty damn right. Defensively, I agree with that. I think it's still too early to tell that maybe some of these young guys are 100% big leaguers. But defensively, they're, they're, they're without question better than what the one India well, can bring to the table. Even, but, 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 but to your point, 
at some at, at some varying level, Jonathan India has got to find a way to fit on this team, and we all inevitably know where that is. The question is, is he going to be capable of doing it? And the second part ultimately comes down to, you know, what what is his commitment level to the franchise? Does he want to stay here or not? Yeah, I don't know if it's fair to. I mean, it's, it's a tough spot. It's a tough spot. It's a tough spot for really every all of them. All right, Big C's going to opening day. Love Got that. the promo code. The Love code. That. Code C box. C box. You want to talk about it one more time, real quick? Yeah, last time here, real quick. Uh, maybe not the last time. Who knows? We've been on this uh, stream for longer than we thought. Turns out we actually have pretty pretty decent internet. You know, who knows? I that's who knows? That's the that's the best part of this. Yeah, I mean, we thought we were gonna maybe be on on live for like ten minutes. Yeah, and we were gonna probably end up losing internet, and we were like, whatever. We tried. Turns out, Nick Kirby, electric phone. So here's the thing. <laughs> uh, game time is is legitimately making this possible. Them, DSC, the folks that you see on the screen are making this possible. Without them, it's not a chance. We don't have the money to do this. God honest truth, like we don't have the money at Chatterbox Sports to do this. We want to entertain people. We want to have fun. We want to try to give people an opportunity to laugh. That's genuinely... Like, the more and more we've evolved, Chatterbox Sports is just trying to give people, like, a better day. Yeah. And in, in, in a weird way, can we just make somebody's day better? Like, that's that's the goal. And I don't know if we always do it. Sometimes we might piss people off because we say things that yeah. they might not agree with. Yeah. And but, but genuinely, like, we try to build a community. We've created a, multiple, a, multi, a multitude of ways that you can build a community within, right? We have, obviously, X. Um, we have YouTube. And then on top of that, we even have uh, Discord, uh, Discord, which, again, just, just ways in which people can interact. Correct. I think people have actually found other people through Chatterbox that they enjoy interacting with about their favorite teams, et cetera. Yeah. But when you're small like we are, there's only so many shots you get. Like, like we kind of feel like in a, in, a, in a terrible analogy, per se, is like we're Jacob Herdebees, right? Like, that's who we are. We've probably overperformed. We've done a lot better than what everyone's asked of us. Nobody ever expected this little kid out of, you know, the military school to find himself. Uh, what's that? Navy. Yeah, Navy. <laughs> I wasn't going to try to single him out. I mean, no, Army. The, the, the Army. Oh, man. I'm... Exactly. So oh, now man. here you go. Now you're... <laughs> oh, no. I'm pretty sure it's Army, but you might say Navy. I'm pretty sure it's Army. Uh, but the point is, is this little kid, I say little kid, that's disrespectful, but this kid from the, 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 the uh, Arms Academy is going to get to the big leagues. We got news today that we won't break. We won't break yet. <laughs> Sounds like you might have been. I'd love to know. But I'm saying we got news today that it seems like people are viewing us as a competitor now when they didn't before. Like they're 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 changing their rules, which is fine. It's just a story for another day. The point is, is that the only way we get to do these things is because of all of you and because we get other companies that give us a chance. Like, Game Time gave us a puncher's chance. They told us, hey, smallest company we've ever done a deal with. Legitimately, smallest company we've ever done a deal with. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it hell. And the crazy thing is, is if we get you to use the code CBOX, C-B-O-X, and you download the Game Time app, Genuinely, you might think it's a joke. You might be like, ah, oh, it's not a big deal. Yeah. It's like legitimately a big deal. It's helping us tremendously. And uh, I just want to thank you for giving us a chance. And to anybody who's watching on maybe X.com, perhaps. Yeah. We, if I, I love you all for watching this. I don't know where you guys came from, but I love you. And if you'd like to, we have a YouTube stream right now. We have a YouTube channel. If, if you're unfamiliar with what we're doing, Trace kind of mentioned it. These guys do more serious Reds talk show, I would say. Uh, especially Nick, he, we need, you need somebody that actually knows what the hell they're talking about. Uh, I, I rarely don't, I give an opinion loudly and then I, I probably exaggerate it a bit. That's what I do. I just try to make people laugh a little bit. So if you like what we're doing here, check us out on YouTube, uh, go to game time, go to game time, please, 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 please go to game time, get their app, uh, promo code B O X C B O X. It's on the screen. C B O X. All right. Uh, back to. You know, this is a very serious sports talk. Very show. serious oh, no, sports no, talk no, show. Well, well, let me get one in. This more and more super chats. Yeah, I mean, th this is the only thing that gives me anxiety is not reading the super chat. Nervous. Trip. I've had no anxiety. Yeah. But super now chats piling up, it stresses me out. No anxiety. He said he's got no anxiety. That's a lie. <laughs> this guy's never been more nervous. I, I, the first time he walks in the studio, he's like, ah, it, 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 it took me 20 years to pack. 
<laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> it's what you expect. All right. Uh, Mr. Mo says, I don't know what Elliot is yelling about, but if someone really needs their ass kicked, then That's I'm right. locked on. I mean locked in. <laughs> Dialed in, it would even be better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was, do we have anything else? What a silly war that I was. can't see them in order. That's what makes it What a challenge war that was. That was, that was un- preposterous. That was an unneeded All right. war. 100%. We're, we're caught up. Do we have like a bell or something I can ring? Ding. Dang, where's Casey McAllister? We, we need a little sound of <laughs> it. Kind of needs to fade that out as they start talking, though. We, we no, honestly, the, but I think it's funnier now that you have to be. A, I think you get louder as it it's goes. Like it, well, I mean, it's pretty wild in here. I'm not gonna act like it's not. Um, all right, so we are. We are. We don't even really know where we're going. That's the chronic. These guys, we told them. If we're, being, <laughs> if, we're honest, if, we're, if we're being honest for a second, we told these guys, which are their camera, their camera guys. We've not met these guys, but for more than two days, and that's no. not a joke. People might think we're joking. They're driving our company van, <laughs> doing whatever the hell they want to do up there. Whatever they want to do, and we've met, we've known them. What are we doing wrong? Are they sure? And we and we genuinely told him to go to denver <laughs> we, we we have no plan right now like None. it wouldn't shock me if we legitimately didn't didn't stop live streaming until one of us falls asleep <laughs> i think there's a serious chance of that and here's the thing like Dude, usually you book ho- like i don't you guys have you guys gone on big road trips like not obviously to this scale but yeah. have you guys gone on road trips before i actually drove to denver you drove to denver my dad's uh 50th birthday Okay, so you guys have, you, you have this experience. Usually you plan out the whole thing, right? It is currently 12.35 our time. Whatever you guys are watching in the time zone, I'm not sure. It's 12.35 a.m. our time. We still don't have a hotel booked. <laughs> That's true. We don't have a hotel booked. We're just driving. And, and Nick made a mention or at least a, a note to me yesterday or today. I, my days are gone. Don't, I'm not even going to try to mention what day it is. But Nick said there's going to come a point on this road trip to, to Denver specifically yeah. where we're losing Wi-Fi, we're losing power, there's going to be nobody and nothing for about 20 miles or something like that. And, and honest to God, that's what I'm kind of afraid of. Is that That's done on this little strip here, right? That's farther down the line tomorrow? That's, uh, that's in – Colorado. It's, okay. it's across the border. Okay. But if I did my research right, it's actually only me that loses the service and and Denver and okay. your provider are supposed to uh, come through. So we'll see. But Three. there is legitimately like 50 miles between gas stations. Yeah. So we should be paying attention to the signs as we go along. Well, you better tell those that guys. That might be a good time to, to reach out. Hey, fellas, if you see any signs go. that say no gas for 50 miles, uh, let us Put know. that mic on them. <laughs> well, what he was telling them was uh, that that if they don't see signs for 50 miles for gas, let them know. The thing is, we just filled up, right? We got a full tank. 100%. Yeah, we got a full tank. All right. Uh, Michael like, Rolf, can party. we get the van boys to explain the... What's that? Oh, I don't know. You have to, Well, now you have to keep reading it. You're, you're yeah, too far Yeah, yeah, you got to do the it. Lock talk. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, it's fine. It. Let's read it You out know out what? It's, it's a super, it's middle a super of the night. chat. You have to do it. All right. Just read Can it out you loud. please explain the lockdown drama? You guys don't have anything else to do. These drivers could avoid Doyle rules, you guys. Ha ha. I don't. I mean, I don't have any drama with locked on. Oh, Doyle rules. Um, you don't know what he's talking about, did you? I have no. Oh, Doyle rules. Oh, no Doyle rules. Movie. It's a, yeah. Okay. All, All right, right. I have no Whatever. idea. I, I have no beef. What's that? I have no beef. No, with, you don't. I do not. Um, I have uh, met both those guys. Yeah. Uh, gone to baseball games, had beers with them. I have no beef. I, look, I think one of the hosts, you know, took a, a cheap shot um, at a, a clip that was out. But look, to each their own. Um, you know, we try to stay above the fray yeah, as I, much as possible. I don't. I don't have any beef. I mean, sometimes I like getting into the mud. You, you know, what I mean, listen, <laughs> there's times where you, can, you, you you can be the and it, of course Nick's gonna play the Mr. Nice Guy thing, and that's perfectly fine. But there's certain times that when people decide they want to go to the octagon. All right, that's fine. Be careful because I'll put my gloves on too. You know what I'm saying? And if I get in the octagon, then we might have a problem. Here's the thing with the, the whole locked on thing. I genuinely don't know these people. I yeah, I mean, like when I say I don't know them, I don't I don't know them. And the the crazy thing of it is, is uh, I'll explain what I think happened. Okay. This this I'll look right in the camera and say this. 
this might not be true. This is my opinion. This is a guess. This is an educated guess, I think. But for those that don't know, there's another podcast, obviously, out there that's, I guess you could say, a competitor because they're doing the same thing we're doing. Sure. And whatever. But but it, honestly, as I said before, I put a video out. You know, there, there's, a, there's a reason that there's more than one soda. You know, you can enjoy more than one soda and both survive and it's better for the world. Capitalism at its finest. So I'm all for those guys continuing to do what they've been doing and try to do as, bet- as good of a job as they can. The thing, is, the thing that I don't understand with all this yeah, is that I think it derives from a place of jealousy, and I don't know why, because you have your own thing. Like, you don't that, – that, and this is a guess. There was a compliment made to us. I think Drew Garrison said something very nice about us. Yeah. He said that he loved us. If you're not checking these guys out, blah, 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 blah. They might have even said it's the best Reds podcast or whatever. I don't know. This is what Drew said. Sure. And then ultimately what ended up happening was I think some people seen that. It irritated them. So then they try to jump on a take that I had, which is not a really, you know what? I mean, I could do it right now. We got nothing better. (laughs) It's not a bad take. It's not a bad take. All I said was that guaranteed contracts are not good for sports not good for sports leagues is it did i ever once say now i know that those guys didn't actually listen to the clip no they 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 either read the headline or they listened to the first five seconds and that was the end of it you know they they judged a book by its cover as they once say in school and they say you shouldn't do that for this reason what i was trying to explain was that the whole concept of a guaranteed contract really isn't ultimately a great idea for the leagues because you're going to find yourself in a position where someone doesn't pan out or someone gets hurt or there's an issue, whatever it may be. How? Whatever it may be. It's not. It can't be real. I don't know. But my point is, ultimately, is this. Yeah. If it is so much to be talked about with these guaranteed contracts, why is we as fans always get pissed off with these guys when they don't live up to their contract? Like that's that's my argument. And, and that's my argument. And I never once sat around and thought, man, you know what? I am so thankful that Mike Musakis is getting paid by the Cincinnati Reds, and I'm so happy that his union they figured out a way to make sure that everything's guaranteed. It's great for the players, of course. It's it's, it's tough for teams. Uh, this... They think we're pro owner, correct? I'm not pro owner, pro if sports you... league because I want these teams to be competitive. If you could cut a player that's worthless, right? Of course, they've already made some money. I'm not trying to suggest that they that they that, they, that you can hose these people. Yeah, I'm just saying it's not good for the sport when you have guaranteed contracts. That there's a reason the NFL is so successful. So I'm getting it. But go ahead. I I just I I just wanted to say, and I don't think it's a bad take. Number one, if you have a disagreement with one of our takes, that's more than fine you you host a sports talk show uh the point is to get people to have conversation about it to have people talk about it um and and this drama nonsense it wasn't really even drama i i i I think i I think what happened was trace made a silly take and and it comes to this word competitor and i think that one podcast didn't want to promote our stuff and he worded his tweet real weird and and i made and i i pointed i poked fun at it and I think a lot of people poked fun at it. I think that's what was going on. I don't hate anybody. I, I, I think one of those guys worked at the station I used to work at. And we all, I, at least from what I've heard, I think he's a phenomenal human being, a great guy. Uh, and he's built something great. Uh, whatever he's doing over there, that's fine. And that's good. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know where this – and I guess this is kind of where I don't, uh, I don't fully understand – why it seems like there are people out to get Chatterbox a little bit. And I'm not playing the victim at all. It just does seem like if I go on X.com, maybe I only read the negative comments. Maybe that's what it is. It just seems like there's certain people that are just like, I don't know, man. this company, this company it. stinks no matter what they do. Yeah. Don't list anybody. People think I'm pro owner. You have, I, I literally went to the ballpark with the name of our team's it's owner. A and I said, sell the team. Nobody has been more, uh, more disrespectful to the ownership of the Cincinnati sports teams than me. Nobody. I, I, 
if I'm going to be honest, I probably would have bought a billboard a couple years ago. I probably would have. There's a chance. My, my, my attitude has changed. They're on the right path now. I've calmed down. But if anybody's saying I'm pro-owner, you got another thing. I, I just, I've never once said anything nice about an owner in Cincinnati. Never, ever. The one thing I say about, I still don't think Mike Brown's a good owner. I think that there's smart people at the Bengals that took over that, that franchise organization, thank God, and now they're right back on the right track over there too. Hey, if you had to say something nice about uh, 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 each of our owners, as in just the two Reds and Bengals. So we're going to talk Castellini, Mike Brown? Or what would you, you say? Yeah, how, how would you say? The Castellinis are very good at the at the ballpark atmosphere, I think. And, and I actually want to give them credit for that. Genuinely. Genuinely. I, I Maybe you thought I was going to go in a, in a different direction, maybe a bit. But I think when I go to a ballpark on like a, on a Monday, Tuesday night, it's legit one of my favorite things to do. I think it's fun. I think it's engaging. Uh, I, I, I think it's beautiful, number one. I think Great American Ballpark, people will rank their top 30 ballparks. And Great American Ballpark is always somewhere in the middle. And I think it's just underappreciated for how cool it really is Bullshit. right on the river. And I love it. And, that, and from that aspect, the Castellinis have done a great job. Now, when it comes to winning, they have done a terrible job. That's not my opinion. That's objective. You take a look at the records for every red season the past 20 years, it's not good. It's not. Uh, Mike Brown, you look on that side, the Bengals were the biggest dumpster maybe in the history of sports. No joke. In the early 2000s, it was bad. Late 90s, early 2000s, it was a disaster zone. But Mike Brown, credit to him. This is what I'm going to say something very nice. He handed it over. He handed over his control. Uh, or at least what the, his perceived control of the team is, to, to Blackburn. And, and I think they're on a path where they can at least try to win now. They've gained the respect of this city back. And I think they've they lost it for a long time, and that was mainly wow. because you had an owner who was unwilling to change his ways. He changed his ways. Uh, uh, now, now, I know this is a very serious it's Very serious sports talk show. About here. Listen to me. There is very, very good – uh, conversation going on with our good friend Mousecop. He brings up the point that Redzilla has been down the last few times he's been to the ballpark. Really? That is that is something that you you are talking about fan engagement and the atmosphere yeah. down there. Did you did you factor that into into the uh, compliment that you just gave? No, I, I well, if we're gonna do that, then I'll take it back. I'll Mouse Cop, Mouse Cop's my guy, and he knows that, and I'll and I'll take it back because I've also had a couple experiences where. Redzilla, that beautiful beast, was not operating up to code. Right. Um, the the t-shirt cannon just wasn't firing right, uh, and they had to shut her down. They had to they had to take her back into the into the bullpen, I guess is where they keep her. Um, and and that was that. So there is there is a couple times, and I get that. So uh, Mouse Cop, shout out to you. Uh, you are right about that. Now the other thing I was going to point out with Bob. Yeah. I'm going to give him a compliment. I think he dresses pretty nice. You said what now? I think he dresses pretty nice. I like. I like his. He's they've got done a, a lot of really good stuff for the community. He's probably good. It's got a good. That's style. that's the thing that I think they've probably done the best at. The the Reds Community Fund and all that stuff. The the Cincinnati Reds have been very good at. Objectively, very good at. I think when you go on the Reds Caravan, uh, I know there's some topics on the type of players that are coming on that. But I think that is that shows that they care. Reds Fest. a little bit. Reds Fest is arguably. One of the best baseball, uh, uh, baseball. I, I don't want to say parties, but baseball atmospheres that isn't actually include a baseball game it, across the country. I think the Cubs have a good one. Allegedly, uh, what's Michael Rolf? Yeah, and he said I will super chat this B. I think he meant bitch. Okay, thanks for clarifying. I will super chat this bitch to the moon. <laughs> I don't care if I go broke doing it. See box for life. How high is it on Twitter right now? I don't know. Uh, it I'm just trying seems, to like, it doesn't even I have to like real. shrink it to see the, the channel. Wanna, I'm still confused at what's know, happening. If you want to know, know, it doesn't seem real. Like it's got so many in there. It's just 415. That that's How is that possible it's though? Not. Is that possible? No. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe we got hacked. Nobody Elon, knows. we have the Elon boost. Has to be hacked, right? Throw us a bone for Starlight. If there's 415 people watching right now, the unfortunate part with what we're gonna what we're gonna end up having to do is yeah. drive around a fucking van. 
<laughs> for our jobs. Can I, can I, I just want to see if it's real. For the 415 people on Twitter that are watching this, if you can go to my Twitter, I'm at ETrain513. Oh, yeah, that's the way to test it. <laughs> DM me something. Just say, like, hey, I'm watching it on Twitter. Is and your DMs open? DMs are open. DM me. D- DM one of those two guys, too. DM us all. I need to know if there's actually people watching this or if this is some Elon prank. Because there's a chance, there's a non-zero chance Elon and his minions, when I dropped his name uh, earlier on in this broadcast, uh, he, he started probably telling people to come at us. Uh, and maybe that's what's happening. But if you're watching on Twitter, and I love you all if, you, if you're out there watching on Twitter right now, or x.com. That's D- what it is. DM X. me. DM me at E-tra- E-T-R-A-I-N-513. Right. DM me and say, hey, I don't know who you are, but I'm watching on X.com. Or if you know me, say that. I, I, I'm, I'm honestly curious because this is yeah. pre- pre- preposterous. All right. Uh, preposterous. Uh, circling back, uh, Mark, I, I'm trying to like keep up with everything, so sorry, apologize. Mark, Mark wanted me to read his super chat. I just put it up. Yes. Mark said locked on sucks. I read it, Mark. I, I, again, I, I do think there's a lot of people that – listen to both podcasts and that that's fine um i don't know i, I don't want to we got nothing against those guys in the sense that there is some respect factor that, and that's where like i don't you ready for it elliot yeah i'm ready that's where you lose me that's where you lose them because there is some respect factor for some for, for under uh, for someone understanding the grind that is to do what they do but they also would have to reciprocate that a little bit and understand that's the same thing we're doing. Yeah. To a certain extent. It is what it is, man. I, Those guys, I wish them the best. You know what's funny, though? Elliot always brings up this, like, the concept of uh, of hating us or whatever. I could be wrong We've on that. We've had haters since we started, though. Like, we really have at every level. And it's funny to look back at the haters that we had when we first started when we were doing high school sports. Yeah. Because it just seems so elementary now. Like that's, I mean, I'm not trying to like you know be too overly critical, but I'm just saying like it's it is laughable. Yeah. And and, and I'm hopeful in ten years we look back at this locked on thing and just kind of chuckle at it. <laughs> I hope so too. We'll I think we will. We I might think be we broke will. too by the end of this trip. So yeah, we'll see. The thing you're most excited for. I know this is a really tough ask. This is tough. Num- I'm gonna ask both of you the same question. Sure. The number one thing that you're most excited for moving forward. Obviously, Allen Fieldhouse is over. Allen Fieldhouse is over. It was great, but now we got uh, still a lot left. Number one thing. Number one thing that I'm looking forward to, it's probably one one in Las Vegas if it happens. Really? Never been to Las Vegas. That's Never, cool. ever, ever been to Las Vegas. I mean, it's right spring training. Like, if there's, like, if you could tell me you can go anywhere this time of the year, it'd be right spring training. I'd probably over – just about anywhere in the world. I don't know. I I I'm interested about Vegas because I have always I've never been to Vegas. Yeah. But I've always had the impression in my head, and I might be completely wrong on it. Yes. I think Vegas is overrated. But I've never been. I have no reason to actually have that how opinion. Would you, how would you do that? How could you say that Vegas is overrated, but you've never been there? What, what I, makes you? I'm just saying it's it's. I'm not saying it's fair. You sound like those guys that are off of uh, talking baseball or whatever about Ellie De La Cruz. Yeah, that's what this is. They got the glitz and the glamour, the flash, and you're like, oh, I'm tired of that. I don't like it. I, I, I I'm interested to see if it would prove me Ooh, wrong. Okay. Let's see if it would prove what me wrong. What could Vegas possibly bring? All right, Mr. Mo. Uh, I very much care. I very much care if I go broke, but I love you guys. <laughs> Shout out to you. How is if I miss it like I'm toast? I don't. Know. I have a source that might explain what's going on at X.com. I, I don't know. Man. I I have, but I have the answer now. What's the answer? And by the way, there are people who are DMing me. Shout out to everybody who's on there. <laughs> um, I believe what's happening is it's counting total views. I don't think that's concurrent. Okay. I don't know. I don't think that's true because I don't. I've never seen this number. I've done. That. I'm going to keep an eye on that from now on. I'll tell you if that's true or not. We've done stream yards before, and I've never seen numbers like this pop through. I don't we might, know. We might be dead soon. So maybe, maybe we're. We'll have plenty. Of I, I have a source that's telling me that Twitter, for some reason, right that now, it seems right. Is is counting the total views? Okay, All right. Which would make a lot more sense. A, a lot more sense. Um, it's a hundred percent that. 
It's 100% that. Yes, I'm watching it in real time. I'm watching it. Because it's literally, it's never gone down, right? No. Not gone down. If it goes down, I guess that's the key. If it goes down, then it's wrong. Then my theory is wrong. Yeah, it's not going down. So that, we're 100% right. So that's what it is. Um, that, that's fine. No, it's 100% fine. I might need a phone charger, though, by the way. Well. I was trying to stream it on YouTube, and, oh, Nick's got one. Yes, he does. That's our, that's our, and, that's what's powering. that's not a problem right now. Worst case scenario, that just doesn't work. <laughs> Worst. Yeah. yeah, it's a full battery. We're good. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hanging on by thread, too. I got 5%, I think. Um, yeah. I didn't, when did iPhone change the, change your, the, the, the cord there? Another super chat. Shout out Daniel Myers, Chatterbox for life. Appreciate you. Also, Matt says he loves you both. Thanks. Matt DM me and said he loves you both. Who's Matt? Matt told me he wanted me to tell you. So Matt's oh, watching. Matt. Matt's watching the show right now. Love you, Matt. Thank you, man. Uh, uh, what a wild. Concept. Las Vegas. I I did tell Trace this. Where did we say we were gonna stop? Do we know? In Denver. Hey guys. We're in Junction City, Colorado. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Junction City, Kansas. For those that are wondering, Junction City, Kansas. Junction City, Kansas. Okay. Do you think? Do you think my Vegas take is crazy? And I think it might also not be my cup of tea. I now, don't know if it's sports crazy. betting. I don't is, know if it's crazy. Is hey, gentlemen. I don't. I don't know if it's crazy either. I, tired, I'm not a big casino guy though either. So like yeah. that also probably. How many casinos do you go to casinos? I have I have not been to a casino in like ten years. I I am a casino guy. I do enjoy them. I don't drink. And you talk about vices. Uh, everybody's got their vice. My vice is that uh, I, I I have to gamble. I have to. At some point, that, I do worry about that for you. Well, no, I. But it's not. It's not. I'm not betting thousands on the line. But that's not. A point. I'm not that's, betting that's, millions. But if you had that, you would. No, but I don't think I would. I don't. I don't think I would. He only put five dollars on the absolute free money of the Fanduel boost today, so he showed restraint. If again, if there's a serious problem, I'll let everybody know. But I, I as That's of right, not how most people do. Their yeah, problems. but as of right I'll now, I'll let you know. Yeah, I'll let you know about it. You're um, on a need to know basis, and you don't need to know. But Vegas, I, I do think that there is a little bit, as as Trace would say, mystique about it, right? Yeah. So I, I think it's a little bit different when you're in Vegas. It could be like what you're saying. What's not? What's what are we laughing at? <laughs> Mr. Bo, my vice is nicotine, caffeine, and chatterbox sports. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, it's it's not everybody's cup of tea. I just think for me personally, it is the mecca of what I like to do. My my entertainment on weekends, if if I may, is yes. to go to a casino. I spend a couple hundred bucks. I go in there with 200 bucks every time, win yes. or lose. Sometimes I win, sometimes I lose. And that's it. I'll pay the price of two, $200 is, is more than enough for me to have a good time for a couple hours. But do you have a good time? Yeah. You didn't look I, like you had a good time in, in Allen Field House towards the end of, a, of, of the basketball game. That was because it was almost a double whammy. That was because it was almost a double whammy. That's when your favorite team loses and you have money on it. Right. So it's a little bit different in, uh, from that regard. But we've hit 500 on Twitter. We've hit 500. So it's that's definitely what it is. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can get to six of bills. <laughs> Let's get to six. By the way, it's still impressive, though, by the way. Yeah. Uh, on X.com, I don't know what our record is for off the bench. I don't know. It can't be that high, though. For 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, Eastern time. Yeah, we're 2, we're 2 a.m. Eastern. I, are you hearing him? Can you hear him good in there? Because um, I don't hear him good. I hear him. Yeah, you should. Maybe. He's coming through. Let me see what I can do for you. I'm basically hearing you from the outside. What about that? Say something. Say something. A little bit better. I'm just turning up your earphones. No? That's that's good. Is that is that fine? Yeah, that's better. I can pump me up a little bit. Does that make it better for you? Yeah, it makes it way better. All right. I was just I was sorry. I was struggling. I was struggling to hear. No, a I, I can turn it up. Super chat for Matt. I've been harassing Elliot for two days. I love you. Yes. Matt, I love you. I love everybody who's watching right now at 3 a.m. Yeah. Cincinnati time. Just crazy talk. Um, two. I know I've eaten every single one of your crackers. By you the did way. eat all my crackers. But I, I just want you to know I'll take care of it the next time we stop. Okay. 
Uh, I, I have my gum. I'm not going to chew gum with this microphone right by my mouth, but I am going to chew gum eventually. So I, I'm very, I'm very excited about that. By the way, it seems like the road is smoothed out. Thank God. Uh, don't jinx. I won't jinx. So I, I, I'm not going to jinx about that. I am excited not to get back to my whole point. I'm very excited to get back to Vegas. I want to see everything. I want to see all, all that it's about. Uh, maybe it won't live up to hype. But anyway, Trace is the wallet man. I've, I've told him that. Yeah. I do when I do go to a casino. I'm maybe this does. This. Maybe this is the sign of a gambling addict. When I do go to the casino, I anybody who's with me, I give them my wallet because there's a chance I get an urge to go to the ATM and be like, "All right, let's just throw another hundred down." So when we go to Vegas, you've confirmed to me that you are my wallet guy. I would love to be the wallet guy. Yeah. So Trace is my wallet guy, and, and that's one hundred percent certain. As long um, your favorite table game. It's blackjack. Okay. Do you play craps? Do you know craps? I don't know how to play. Okay. I think blackjack is like the only game I know how to play. You know what? I actually do. I do enjoy the. Uh, I do enjoy roulette. Wow, I hate that game. It just takes too long. Roulette's fun. I don't like roulette at the actual roulette table though. I like roulette on the electronic tables. Oh really? Right. Because I don't like the way they make you make bets. Like I can put like five bucks anywhere I want anytime I went on the electronic ones. I have to have like fifteen. On the numbers, or fifteen on red or black, and there are fifteen on the uh, first row, second row, third row. I don't like the way they make me uh, organize. What that. do you do? What do you do? People are I'm... suggesting that I have the munchies. I don't. I will eventually. People have though. called you drunk and high tonight, and that's fine. He I didn't eat very, dinner. I am very. I, tired. I can confirm. I ate his dinner. I'm, I am very tired. Like when I say I'm tired, I could, I could take this headset off, turn these lights off. I'll be asleep in ten minutes. That is until L, um, that is until Nick starts sleeping. <laughs> I'm excited for that tonight. Me, Taylor, and Nick in the same room. Maybe. I don't know if we're going to have a room. We're going to have a room. We okay. have to have a room. Well, that's the goal. At 2 a.m., right? It's 2 a.m. Is that it? Is it 3 a.m.? I don't know. Song? 3 a.m.? 3 a.m. Ma- that's Matchbox it's... 20? Is that what you're talking about? No. It's 3 a.m. and I'm not sleeping. That's Matchbox 20? Yeah. No, not that one. There's it's another a, one that's at 3 a.m.? It's a country song. It's 2 a.m. Okay. It's 2 a.m. and uh, it's something like uh, it's. Are you thinking about it's five o'clock on a Saturday? No. It's five o'clock on a Saturday. Big turn. Big turn. No. We're making a big turn. Um. No. It's uh, a. <laughs> it's it's about uh basically being in a bar, dialing a, dialing a, an X something like that. I don't know. Country song. I don't remember it. I'm sure the chat will remember. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. Probably um, not. Are we gonna go to a Waffle House on this trip? I've at, never been to a Waffle uh, House. One thousand percent. Okay. I that's I I've that done, sounds so good right now. I've never ever done it, and maybe I should have done it at some. You're Waffle House guy. Yes. Uh, I actually so I used to work with this guy. His name was his nickname was Mater. Toe Mater. Yeah, that could be a good nickname. Yeah, it's a very good nickname. And he gave me a hack. They have, well, not it's not a hack, but told me mm-hmm. what to order at the Waffle House. They have a melt that you add jalapenos to. Oh, to yeah. Burger. It is electric. We got people sending super chats in. Red's Daily sends a $2 super Seriously? chat in. <laughs> Says, will this get me out of sleeping with Kirby? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'll tell you what. We're going to have to play like rock, paper, scissors for who gets the uh, snores. We'll, we'll figure it we out. We got three snores, three non snores. Um, <laughs> It's got to remind me to put the mouth guard back in. I right. think it's going to be really funny. I think we use Taylor's air mattress. We put Trace on the air mattress on the floor of the hotel. Me and Nick get the beds, and we just see if Kurt, if Trace can survive the night. That's what I think would be content uh, that the people would want to see. All right, Mike Michael Rolf. He says Vegas is appropriately rated twelve out of ten. It's insanely fun for forty eight hours or less. Let's go. He says Bourbon Street is a close second. Beale Street in Memphis is third. I, I've never been to any of those three. Have you guys been to any of those? I've not. I've been to Vegas, but I was so broke that I, that I didn't have fun. I couldn't. It was impossible for me to have fun. So I went to Vegas when I was, like, right out of college. And then when I say I was broke, I mean, I, like, had probably $20 in my name. Yeah. This looks so Michael Rolfe so, once saw so, the Harlem Globetrotters so dribble down can't. Beale Street at 2 a.m. in street clothes. Someone he was with. Bet them they couldn't do dribble tricks on the cobblestone road. Damn. Well, <laughs> what kind of odds do you think they got? I don't know about that, but I do know that I like craps. 
If you could teach me craps, that would be great. So do you want to learn now? No, nobody wants to hear you teach me craps. Oh, fair enough. It's not hard. It, I know, like, the basics of it. I know there's the pass line, and I know all that stuff. There's right. a seven. Yes. I, get, I, get the, I get the basics. But I need, I need to really be at the table learning. I'm a hands-on learner. You're a hands-on learner. I'm a hands-on learner. When I was in school, and maybe I was a bad student, I don't think I was a bad – I just don't think I cared. That's the one thing about school. I think there's a lot of smart people out there. Very. That you, you go through school, and you take a geography class, and Correct. you're like, where, what's the capital of Honduras? Correct. And you're like, who gives a shit? Exactly. Nobody I, I gives a shit. I think that's a vast majority of So I, I think there's people out there that – I think I was having a debate with my buddy about this. Yeah. If you have a degree in anything, like, you can pretty much do anything. There's some things that require a little bit of extra schooling, caps on the floor. I mean, what a, what a damning mistake that was to have my water bottle cap right before. between Kirby's feet, literally. Well, that's going to be a tough get. So I, I'm not. Uh, this there's table is no, just not. There's no. There's this, no fucking way. There's what no about, way. Hey, that's an F bomb from Kirby. Hey, what about what about what about lifting your right foot? Let's talk through this. Lift your right foot. I see take, it, but it, there's kick, no. Kick it, kick it to me. Can kick you kick it to me? me. Can you kick it to uh, me. Okay, that might be in the realm of. That's what I'm saying. Kick it to the right. Kick it. Kick it my way. Kick it to the right. I got it. You got it. You got my cap. I got it. Whoa! It's like, man, it's like I'm on a boat. Um. All right, we got to get for today. I'm trying to make sure we we have a general clue. Waukini, Kansas, is where we said we would get to. Is that how far away is that? I don't know. That's that's got to be far away. That's a good question. Let's type in Waukini, Kansas. That can't be right. That just can't be right. How far is it? Two bills? That ain't right. Like that ain't we ain't, we ain't making that. That'd be impossible. Yeah, we're not doing that. Did so we, we gotta get we, up even did, earlier tomorrow? Real quick, did we get off to a bad like where do we get hung up at? I yeah, think we, we took we, that detour. I don't know what that detour was. Man, we got out of the game a little later than I think we thought. No, I don't think Not so. Not terrible. Because yeah. we, we always had this show planned for right now. We made that. We were at that gas station for 30 minutes. How far away are we from Denver? I don't think so. I think we took it took us forever to get out of – I don't know what ended up happening. I, and Craig Craig is right. I did make everybody stop. The, I did make I, – I, you are right. Uh, Steve Cashman says this. I guess this would be a good topic of conversation for your Reds uh, podcast later tonight. Uh, will Ladolo pitch this year? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I would think you would. I mean, I'm not like holding my breath that he makes 30 starts, but uh, it, it seems like he'll pitch this year. Um, not to cut that top that topic short, we can talk about that right after this. We got to be in Denver tomorrow by three thirty. Yep. We get an hour. We have. We do gain an hour. That's going to be tremendous help. We currently have seven hours to get there. We just drive through. No, 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 no. So, so listen, we have seven hours to get there. What time do we have to leave to get there by? Do the math for me. I can't do it. I'm so tired. Three three thirty minus seven hours. What is that? Uh, two thirty, one thirty, twelve thirty, eleven thirty, ten thirty, nine thirty, eight thirty. Seven hours. Boy, that's tough. Nate, uh, I honestly I haven't watched the whole taking base talking baseball on the Reds. Um, I think they just they basically said they were they didn't want to hear about guys that could just essentially throw the ball hard. Like these guys are getting over. Yeah, I mean if they were on the Yankees, they'd be excited to sell for them. That's that's the truth. Like, let's be honest. If Del, if Ellie De La Cruz played for the um the Pirates, we would we'd kind of make fun of it. I mean, I would go back and uh, listen to talking baseball's uh, 2023 Reds preview. And uh, then you can determine if you want to, you know, put any stock in those comments. I think those guys are great. 
I love the content they do. They just are not knowledgeable about the Reds, and that's fine. I mean, they they're they're trying to cover all thirty teams. Yeah, and do impossible. A bunch of stuff. If you ask me a question about the Yankees, I'm sure whatever I say would be completely uneducated and stupid. Yes, I typically just don't make those comments, but teach their own. Sometimes you got to make comments because that's what the demand. That's yeah. what that's what the that's what the man's asking you to do. But, that's right. But you know, we 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 find ourselves in those precarious <laughs> situations sometimes. You got to talk about things we don't even know what we're talking about. Um, I really need to brainstorm this year with you guys. What game do we have tonight? Tomorrow night? We've got a hockey game. Hockey's tomorrow. Okay. We gotta get to. We gotta get to. We gotta get the go karting. I already paid for it. Oh my god! Why'd you schedule it at three thirty, brother? Because uh, that game isn't until like 9 p.m. They told, they told me it would take about an hour and a half, two hours. And that's, what, 5.30? We go get some meat, go to the game. Seemed like a good idea then. Yeah. Now it's... Is it 3.30 Eastern or 3.30 Mountain? It's definitely not 3.30 Eastern. It's 3.30 Mountain. Wait a minute. Yeah, because you you put everything in Eastern. Wait a minute. In our itinerary, and Wait I I'm could think we Wait might have some I, some timing errors on here. Hold on, that might be true. What you said might be true. Mouse Cubs getting flashbacks to the PUBG stream. Yeah, this stream might not might not end. We might be here forever. Yeah. You might you might hear me recording yeah. Chatterbox Reds. You might that's you should just do that. You should just do a Chatterbox Reds right now yeah. and then cut it out. We should. Uh, try the problem is I'd have to download this entire video file on the road. We got to Well, we, we haven't really tested. I think I know how to record though. That would be fun. I think, I think we could record. I, it. I get to be a, a a a viewer. I get to I get to watch you guys do your magic. This is true. By the way, everybody who's still watching at again two a.m. our time, two eleven our time on a Tuesday or now Wednesday. Is it Wednesday now? Wednesday now. Shout out to everybody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it right, we, we, we're checking in at four thirty. Oh, okay, so that that's. Way that, better. So that is right. 3.30 Eastern. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's just totally wrong. We're checking in 4.30 their time. Yeah, this is where it's on. We're checking in 4.30 their time. So we're fine. I don't know if we're fine. We, yeah, we're fine, but I don't know. If it's 4.30 their time, that time is an hour behind us. So we're gaining an hour on right top now, of that. It's, right now, it's... One eleven. It's it's uh twelve eleven there. Is that what you're saying? Correct. And if we're we're currently seven, Nate, we're been, seven hours from Denver. Seven hours from Denver. I need someone to do the math for me. So then, if we're we're seven hours from Denver, yeah. So then we're, we'll be six hours from Denver when we stop. Yeah. And that's gonna be two. Let's just, we're going to be, call it, yeah, perfect, fine. So then we can leave by 10 still. That's fine. If check-ins 4.30 their time. Okay. Right? So we're stopping at 2 a.m. Stopping at 2 a.m. Well, I would, we're probably going to wake up at 8.30 or 9 is what's probably going to happen because it happened today. I know. We, we tried to sleep and it just didn't work. So I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. We'll probably wake up at 9 a.m. That's going to catch up with us eventually, though. Yeah, eventually oh, one gonna... of these we're just going to. We're Power gonna. Are that. we? Do we have a set day where we just sleep longer? Yes. We do. Or are you sure? Yeah. yeah I'm okay. trying to think of when that day is, but I want to say, unfortunately, that day is the NASCAR day. Okay. So we can catch up. I think we can catch up. Yeah. No. Good night, Mark. Love you, Nate. We, I've been hearing those. I've been seeing those comments all night, all night long. No comment by me regarding your comments. I've been seeing them all night. We we did say we were going to run the stream until we lost connection. Um, sometimes you got to make exact decisions. Here's where we're at. 
we do need to figure out what the hell's going on in this van and where we're going to stay tonight. So we'll do that. We're going to make a Chatterbox Reds here really quickly. We're going to do that. We are we are going to do our very best. It's going to be hard as hell. Like, I'm not complaining. This is awesome. But to try to get all this content up just every single day that we're trying to do is a little wild. So we got vlogs to keep up with. We're, we're, we're trying to get all that done. So in order for us to realistically probably do that, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sign off here. It's absurdly early at, at back home. What time is it? Home? Two two eleven. Two eleven or two fourteen. We are gonna try to find a hotel in an hour. So I'm gonna start looking those up so we can make sure we have somewhere to sleep. And then uh, tomorrow we will be back providing you all that content and more from the lovely Rocky Mountains in yep. Denver. And we do have a vlog posted tomorrow morning. Yeah, you we... never really gave me. I mean, that's we, a very we, we vague time. term. What, what does that I, mean? I don't know. I, I, what does that mean? I think we should. It sounds like you have an idea. Schedule that you, that it you after want, but... off the bench. So it... the problem is the problem is when we schedule things after off the pitch, off the pitch never ends on the right time. Though. Correct. And then so it doesn't, uh, then doesn't then work. It, so I would, so I would just schedule it in the morning All right. and they can get a little pre-morning thing. This is what I would do. But does I'm it, not. I, I know this. I know this might be unique, but does, does it affect it when it's premiered versus when it's just put in, uploaded? Well, no, but you have your. Love you, Mister. You Mark. already have your audience that's on. I know. Watching off the bench, I'm so saying you, you though, does, it affect, it. does it does it affect it in, yes, in the sense Scott, of I like am. it pushing it to pushing it to? Another. No, it doesn't. It just it's it's it. If it's like pre, Jim, if it's premiering, watching. and you kind of get redirected, and it's at a weird time, it it just kind of makes it weird for people. I think I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe we have another super chat. Met Michael Rolf. Michael next, Rolf. Next road Michael. trip, bring me. Well, I mean, if you're paying, Mike. Uh, well, he is paying. He already paid <laughs> yeah, for it. Yeah. I think you've heard a spot. Oh, uh, you if wake you up can in the drive, morning, Mike. You can drive. You're on. You wake up. I, I. I. By the way, you asked me what my favorite thing was. I. I completely forgot we're going to the Grand Canyon. Whoops. I forgot about that. That's my actual my new. That's my new favorite. That's what I'm looking. I think to that's most. my favorite. Not like my favorite other than the Reds. How did I even forget that? I, I my brain's mush. It's gone. Please talk to Nick and Elliot about the O'Doyle rules. He said, "Please explain that to us." I think it was more just me. A piece of me feels guilty to sleep during the adventure. Well, Mike, Justin, love you. Thank you. See you. We're we're, we're signing. GC three. Thank you. Love you. See you. Everybody who's watching who I didn't shout out. Ohio Lakers. Love you. See you. Big C. Craig. Uh, I said, Mister Mo. Nate. Uh, Mouse Cop, every single person who's watching, who stayed up with us, uh, Michael Rolf, I love you. Everybody, I'm trying to go through this chat and see who's still there. Steve, thank you very much. Everybody who's watched, thank you very much. We're signing out. Uh, we're going to try to do our Chatterbox Reds. Nick and Trace are going to do it. Um, we're going to try to find a hotel and survive, live another day. Um, that's it. Any any final, final words? Download the Game Time app. Use code CBOX. That's C B O X. Game we, time app, C box, get your first purchase, twenty dollars off. We will have that drawing when we get back. I will have that, or we'll have it sometime on the stream. Yeah, we'll, we'll, I have all the names. So I have all the names right now that I can't even. Chatterbox Reds. That's gonna. This is gonna be exciting. We'll find a way, but we always do here. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. It won't be long.